Hey guys, uh, today we're trying to do Samsung video. Intend to give us RGB stripe subpixel layout. All right, interesting, I'll try. Straight to Samsung, please, yep. Because they, oh. in case they, they make their wrong comments on that. Oh. But yeah, what but if we did a video and I don't publish before you check it? I don't think they feel okay. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? Yeah. The cable manufacturers and making sure that they are compatible with each other. There's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth AK future with 48 gigabit per second support. And does the whole um, infrastructure for for certifying, for testing, for making sure there's no interference with the with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have. So thanks a lot for watching. Check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com. Check out the Wise. Wise is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account. And there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world. Just use Wise. It's way faster and it's five to 10 times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool. And I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box, ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150, it's crazy. And it's really amazing and it's free. You can sign up, use your Android Pay, your Apple Pay, or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world. It's great to pay for stuff, right? Or send some money, tiny little fees, it's smart. Check it out. Can I send you some money? I would use WISE if I had to send you some money. I will not send you some money. I'm pretty sure I will not do that. But if I did, I would use WISE. It's really amazing. You can send money all over the world, 150 countries. You can send money to India. You can send money to the US. You can send money to Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, everywhere. And then you get a local bank account. It's crazy. You get a bank account in the US and Europe. It's really amazing. And the fees are five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. So use it as a prepaid debit card, buy a bunch of stuff on the internet, save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies. Check my video where I explain a bunch of more stuff, why this is a smart way and use my link so I can make some money. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use WISE. WISE is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your WISE card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. Don't use your bank to send money because 
It's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth 8K future with 48 gigabit per second support and there's the whole um, infrastructure for for certifying for testing for making sure there's no interference with the with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have so thanks a lot for watching check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account. And there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world. Just use Wise. It's way faster and it's five to 10 times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool. And I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be... Hey guys, uh, sorry for, for the wait. So uh, there's just a little question here and I need your help. Um, I want to do an awesome Samsung TV video, but uh, the guys left already and there's nobody else who's allowed to speak. So, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna record a video without anybody in the interview and where I will read up all your questions as technical as possible, like insanely technical. And within two, three days later, Samsung will send me the official answers and I will edit them in on my published video. So, yeah, that's how it is. Uh, yeah, sorry. The, uh, I should have pushed more to do it yesterday but so there's only three days of this exhibit uh, conference and the guy who takes care of the TV has already left okay so uh, yeah he's not at the show anymore yeah but I mean it's gonna be an awesome video because I counting on you on the chat to please ask some crazy insane advanced questions I am checking right now. I'm checking your your questions. Okay. Yeah, exactly. One is 34 inch coming out. Is there 32 and 27? All that. Okay. But you have to ask me this while I film and I'm going to start right now. I'm going to record my 4K 60 video. And then, yeah, exactly. G-Sync certified. Just keep them coming. All right. And SP95, are you there or two? and Jeria, right? Thanks a lot. If you can help me and I'll try. Let, let's see, let's see if I can do it interesting. So we're here at Samsung Display, here at SID Display Week 2023. And this is how it looks at their entrance. And I'm going to be walking in, doing a booth tour and uh, Samsung is going to be giving me some answers later on all the questions that I'm getting right now in the live chat right here as I'm live streaming. All right, so let's go check out some of the latest OLED TV stuff around here. We have the 77 inch QD OLED. Does it have HDMI 2.1? I'm pretty sure it has. 
And uh, does it have DisplayPort 2.1? So let's get the answer on right here. Are they going to change the subpixel layout in the future? So here we have some displays that are curved. Here's a 34 inch QD OLED. Look at that. It's the corner with the, the keyboards, production, gaming, music, architects, productivity, this corner. So um, what is the timeline on 27 inch or 32 inch 4K monitors? And right here will be the answer on top of this video. I'm going to edit it in. Here's a display link logo right there. Okay, let's go really up close. Let's do some microscope mode on my camera. All right, um, I'm just gonna upgrade your bitrate for one second. I'll, I'll update your bitrate. Just come back in three seconds. Okay, should be back now, it's a higher bitrate. So let's see what I can see on those displays. I'll be editing in as many detailed informations about these. Here it is in uh, DaVinci Resolve. Oh, that looks good. Look at those blacks. Do you like to be working in this kind of setup? Can you get clarity that the 34 inch just isn't just Gen 1? Is it a fully baked mass production device? It's just gonna be coming all over the market at at uh, mass production pricing, affordable. What's gonna be the price? Look at the ports. Okay, let's try to see if I can get here to the ports. I'm not sure they would appreciate me going completely in behind, but there's gotta be a lot of ports on these. And here you have a 49 inch QD OLED. If 34 is not big enough for you, I wonder about the resolution, the refresh rate. I don't have a macro lens. I don't have the microscope lens. Do they have anything with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio? Is it QD OLED Gen 2? Are there mini ports still? Can you see the ports? I can't see the ports right now. Is it the new QD OLED panels or the first generation? Or full size connectors? Are they able to make improvements in near dark tonalities that is, is not a well known issue on OLED? Uh, the day two part two is just rendering on the YouTube. Uh, I didn't have time to to render it out. There was some kind of rendering issue. It's coming back later this afternoon after I film fil filming at the display week. And all the videos that I'm filming here are going to be published in 4K60. Several of them are uploaded already, but I didn't have time to trigger my chat GPT yet to publish. So yeah, I did the awesome Nanosys video yesterday and it's publishing, it's already uploaded. So I just need to publish it later today. You don't see that Samsung has buttons, only a remote. So you'd like me to come back to this one. 
it's hard to see when you when you see the display I'm not sure if it's mass production already so we need to ask about that you see in the corners there I don't know how far they are from uh, mass production Will they address the color fringing on text for the QD OLED monitor panels? Are they really that good in reality? Right, so let me have a look. Whew. I think this looks like a $35,000 display. It's, one, like, uh, it's better than these monitoring video editor displays. Let me try to show you some details on this. DaVinci Resolve, I love this application. Um, right now my DaVinci Resolve is uh, encoding my BOE video from yesterday. And then it'll be uploaded the, later this afternoon. I filmed that BOE for two hours. <laughs> Did you see any display using blue force for recent? Uh, that's, uh, I need to check. Any micro LED at the Samsung booth. So let's keep walking around here for a second. There's a 65 inch QD OLED. Outstanding HDR. My question would be what is their list of accomplishments that makes this the best display in the world? according to them or reviewers on the internet and they were waiting for the right time to have the quantum dot OLED to work you want to see the wires on the black for the monitor display which wires are you looking for I mean, yeah, this display looks really good. But I think 34 inch too small for me. 49 is getting there, but I'm not sure I'm all about this aspect ratio. I want to have pretty much like a 16 by nine. But uh, you guys in the chat, do you want to have a, that kind of a aspect ratio? I pulled away too soon from what? From the black? And don't say that's what she said. The weights. Yeah, Sonny will be checking right after. Les câbles. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm going to try to see what I can see here. Maybe I need to get my headlamp. Do you see any? What do you see? So let's ask about what connections, what connections. Must be a few Type-C inputs. HDMI 2.1 and the display port. Sony you want to see if I can see some wires okay I think it's uh, impolite to to uh, stick my camera in there um, unrelenting innovation uncompromised experience powered by Samsung display the fastest response time innovation in every pixel
are then intending to add polarizer to the acuity LED to re reduce lifted blacks and hand high ambient light. There was enough light. Okay, so let's try. I have a headlamp. What do you see? Okay. He's right. Yeah, I can't really, you know. Um, they need to be some kind of a proof, all this kind of information, no? So what are we seeing here? Gen 1, Gen 2. 2023 blue electrolyte, or what do you call it, the AL? And here you are, the 2022 and the 2023. Looks brighter. So let's cue in some questions on about this part. Seems much brighter here. What's happening? And here we have a round display, seamless display, and high brightness area. Yeah, so that's the question. 2023 20, blue or not? Shouldn't it be easy to uh, include the connector, whatever connector you want? I don't know. How does it work? It's just a controller. Let me go and ask them if I can film uh, with my headlamp on the back of the display. Let's check that. Because I'm getting too many questions about that in the live chat. video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays OLED LCD light box ads machine so thanks a lot I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices thanks a lot for watching check them out you guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150, it's crazy. And it's really amazing and it's free. You can sign up, use your Android Pay, your Apple Pay, or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world. It's great to pay for stuff, right? Or send some money, tiny little fees, it's smart. Check it out. Can I send you some money? I would use WISE if I had to send you some money. I will not send you some money. I'm pretty sure I will not do that. But if I did, I would use WISE. It's really amazing. You can send money all over the world, 150 countries. You can send money to India. You can send money to the US. You can send money to Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, everywhere. And then you get a local bank account. It's crazy. You get a bank account in the US and Europe. It's really amazing. And the fees are five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. So use it as a prepaid debit card. Buy a bunch of stuff on the internet. Save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies. Check my video. 
All right, so can't go in the back because the we are with the Samsung display and um, it's not Samsung Electronics. They decide exactly which version comes out and everything. So there's already a 34 inch on the market with the Gen 1. And this one is the 49 QD OLED with the Gen 2. And the 34 on Gen 2 is all a question of, uh, you know, Samsung Electronic. When do they want to release it? Which is different than the Samsung display. Uh, so let's add that. Is there a better heatsink? and burning precautions for Gen 2 monitors? It's a great question. Oh, sorry. Uh, is there any reports anywhere on the internet about burning on the QD OLED already? Because it just came out. Hopefully there's none. Hoping there's none. Yeah, exactly. They're just panels. They're not products. So it's not, it's not the same thing you'll see in the store. Uh, Gen 1 is only the 34, but actually it could be a Gen 2 here, but the information I got is that the one that's on the market right now, so it's available worldwide, is on a Gen 1. When the Gen 2 comes out, I would know. Gen 2 is two times more durable. Can anybody in the chat let me know how much is uh, the price for the 34 inch on the market? Yeah, ratings is down. It's because, uh, you know, it's because of my video. I crashed the site. It's because of my live stream. So there's a dark tunnel over there. And I'll be trying to get into the dark tunnel right now. Can I go there? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's some scary lion. And with the LCD, you see a lot of gray, light leaking, the QD OLED. That's what's happening. Here's a dark space video on the OLED and on the LCD. You can actually see the mini LEDs behind look like maybe they I think they always emphasize uh, the things thousand dollars okay well it's cheaper than 35,000 that's for sure ah they are yeah so the Samsung provides displays for anybody so that would be good if uh, I think it sounded like they're already available Gen 2 is just a question of you know the factories and what when they want it you know it's pretty good ah oh, it could be so here what am i seeing i'm seeing a tablet that shows the light leakage between one and the other i guess I care. Okay, I need to learn how to operate my camera. So, okay, so this was a dark, dark tunnel. Let's go. Every house should have a dark tunnel. Seamless display. Gen 2 TVs are available. How much does it cost for a 65 inch Gen 2? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Gen 2, of course, is available because uh, it sounded like the 40, 49 inch was, uh, was Gen 2 for sure. Expanded vision. Are you guys playing games with these kinds of displays? Yeah. 
Yes, my old Panasonic G9. I'd like to upgrade, but there's no better camera in the world. Even the Sony is, I mean, the A7S3 is better in some, some ways, but it has a much worse stabilizer. I wouldn't be able to film like this with the A7S3. You'd, you'd all be puking at home. This Panasonic is so stable and I'm filming everything handheld. All right, guys, so that's the video and hopefully I can edit this into something that's cool. 2,879, all right. That's about 2,000 more than I paid for my uh, OLED secondhand 65 inch Sony. Um, I think it's called, uh, what is it, 7? Uh, A7 or I forgot. It's an old 65 inch OLED. Yeah, it's exaggerating, which is probably not illegal because they all exaggerate a little bit. All right, 3,500. I kind of think that's 3K too much, but uh, cool. All right, I'll make a break for this. Um, so I'll put you in a break and I'll be running to do my next video. Let me ask. Hey, what's up? Good. Hey, you're very busy right now? Uh, yeah, we're waiting for everything. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to do a five minute boost tour? You, you talk about everything? No, I'm not, I'm not qualified. About a to, TV? No, because it's, it's not something I know right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you want to say hi to my live stream? Uh, sure. Yeah. Hi. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's Guillaume. How do, you, how do you enjoy the show? Yeah, so far, so good. So cool. We did a video together at, uh, I think it was LG 2019. 18. 18, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Do you see a lot of friends here? Uh, some yeah. people you... Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Every year we see the same people. They're, they're, they're great. Yeah. They're really great. Can you describe what you do? Uh, so now I'm a, a DSCC, uh, which is a market research company and specializing in displays. The number one experts in displays? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah, we're the only company specializing in, in the display. So this is such fun here huh, for you. It's this the, is amazing. It's the, it's the, it's the, yeah, yeah? you want to speak too? Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm Hi. David. Hi. Hi. I'm a colleague of Yom's. All right. How do you like the show? I love it. It uh, shows you the state of the art. A lot of companies showing some prototype devices, not only in OLED, but showing the micro OLED and uh, micro LED. So it's really good to see the industry recovering and still looking at developing state of the art technologies. What's your highlight of the show? What is the coolest? It doesn't have to be one thing, but... Uh, you know, it, I... Uh, clearly there's a lot of micro LED stuff going on. Uh, a lot of applications for automotive. I see a lot more this year than I had before in terms of how it's being used for the automotive sector. And rollable and slidable seem to be really making a uh, bit of a comeback when it comes to these displays. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. Okay, see you later. See you around. See you. What's, what's the channel? Oh, let me give you right here. Uh, we, we could do an, a more extensive like interview if you don't mind. Like uh, I'm just trying to do awesome video on the last day. Yeah, of course. My yeah. pleasure. Are you running away at, at the end of the show? I am. Oh, you I'm are? back to San Diego. Okay. But uh, that's definitely your hookup. Okay. Thank if you. you see me around, you have five minutes. Let's do yeah, better. Right. Okay. See awesome. you later. Oh, sorry. Okay, guys. Um, that was my Samsung video right now. Actually, he forgot to hook him up with a with the microphone. Maybe his voice was very low. I'll have to edit that. Inner looks. Hey, how are you? Hi. You know, if I can do a video at the booth, yes. I want to interview somebody. Uh, yes. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Plasmonic OLED. Uh, we're gonna see Porotech just after. I will try to film. And now in the looks. Yeah. Let me give you my card. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's not my card. Sorry. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm a YouTuber, like, um, I do, I love Display Week, I do videos, and hopefully many people watch the video. Oh, 
hope so. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Just See you later. All right. Yeah, LG. Um, I, they told me to. What time did they tell me to come back? Damn, I forgot. Uh, LG told me. What did they say? Uh, I forgot what they say. Ten thirty, I think. What time is it? It is ten thirty. Okay, so I'm gonna go check out that LG display. So Sony. Uh, Sony has never been at Display Week, as far as I know. Well, at least when I was there, 2017, 18, 19. I don't remember any Sony. So here is a conference with the display suppliers, the manufacturers. You know, they make the display, and all kinds of brands use the display. For example, Samsung make display, but it's not only going to be the Samsung brand. It could be sold as, you know, 200 different brands. Uh, Perotech, very soon. I need to catch them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure LG said 10.30, which is now. Is it possible to do in, in half an hour? Yeah. Can I come back and yes, I yes. try? 25 yes. minutes? Okay, okay yeah. see you later. Yeah. Okay. Stop the FOMO. Where is Stop the FOMO? I saw um, HDTV, what's his name? HDTV reviews. Uh, what's his name? Ah, he's got such a cool channel. But it's not Stop the FOMO. Um, I hope I can find a scene and meet Top the FOMO. Hi. Are you tired back? Yeah. From hey, how are you? Oh, hi. I'm doing fine. Hey. I saw your YouTube channel. <laughs> you saw it? Yeah. So it's I'm possible to do video? Yeah. Um, I'm from the PR team and actually this yeah. is like a free zone. You can just like walk around and just take videos. If you want. Let's do an interview. I want to do boost, boost tour. Um, I think somebody told me to come back at 10.30. Who told me that? Yeah, because it's not crowded at 10.30. So we can take ah. like a video. but. We're not really like giving like an explanation to people. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Nobody can speak on camera. Um. We're not really doing interview today. <coughs> oh my God! It's too bad. Yeah. I travel all the way around to do interviews. Not possible. Uh, we're not doing <laughs> interviews. I'm sorry. Ah. Also, yesterday, day before, it was nobody for that. Yeah. We don't do interviews. We are oh. here just to but, showcase. But uh, did you know my channel, right? I know your channel. And the time I filmed was 2019. I could come to the U.S. Mm -hmm. And so there was guys like, you know, like, um, guys like this, oh, sorry, this is Samsung. And I'm not sure they had any kind of special permission to be on. So he, half a million views with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you remember this guy? Is he, is he with LG? Not me, but this guy. Oh. He's not at the show, right? He's not here. You know him? Yeah, we know him. All right. Uh, yeah, it was mainly those two, my, um, so there's no chance at all. No, we don't do interviews for media this okay. time. <laughs> but maybe not interview, more like uh, explaining what we see, like explaining, you know? Um, like an expert who just talk technical things and I don't ask any questions. <laughs> just brief explanation. Yeah. Oh, he was there. Okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. Vincent. Yeah. No, I was just because uh, I'm, I'm waiting for some guys. They wanted me to ask some questions. Oh, okay. And, but I will not. Yeah. Is it okay just to take a video for our technologies? Um, I'm a bunch of more stuff. Why this is smart. Wait and use my link so I can make some money. <laughs> 
Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use WISE. WISE is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your WISE card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US, in Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth 8K future with 48 gigabit per second support. And there's the whole um, infrastructure for, for certifying, for testing, for making sure there's no interference with the, with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have. So thanks a lot for watching. Check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account. And there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world. Just use WISE. It's way faster and it's five to 10 times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool. And I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box, ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150, it's crazy. And it's really amazing and it's free. You can sign up, use your Android Pay, your Apple Pay, or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world. It's great to pay for stuff, right? Or send some money, tiny little fees, it's smart. Check it out. Can I send you some money? I would use WISE if I had to send you some money. I will not send you some money. I'm pretty sure I will not do that. But if I did, I would use WISE. It's really amazing. You can send money all over the world, 150 countries. You can send money to India. You can send money to the US. You can send money to Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, everywhere. And then you get a local bank account. It's crazy. You get a bank account in the US and Europe. It's really amazing. And the fees are five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. So use it as a prepaid debit card, buy a bunch of stuff on the internet, save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies. Check my video where I explain a bunch of more stuff, why this is smart way and use my link so I can make some money. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use WISE. WISE is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. 
check out my video, seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your Wise card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth hi hi welcome uh, to the uh, let me, let me say hi I okay. don't say hi you can okay, okay. I'll just do it like this okay hi welcome to LG Displays booth so should we start the tour all right and here you have nice foldable OLED display and it can fold down and close like this ultra high quality so LG is uh, going full in on foldable OLED for the mobile and tablet market right so this is a 17 inch foldable OLED this can be used as a portable monitor laptop and tablet all right Cool. Sorry. I had to start again because okay. I, w I was just wondering, you know, is this one glued on the table? It is. Ah, it is glued. Okay. There's a power. Because I was just about to ask if you can tilt, but this one doesn't tilt. Yeah, it cannot it's only that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, sorry. Let me, it's can okay. We, we can do it. Can, can, can we start again instead of, instead of, instead of uh, editing? Of course. This one different like this. Hi. Hi. Welcome to LG Displays booth. So shall All we right. start the tour? And here we have the foldable 17 inch foldable OLED. Yes, this is a 17 inch foldable OLED. It can be used as a portable monitor, tablet. Um, it can be also used as like... It's, it's ready for mass production? Or oh, how far is mass production? Um, about that, we will email you about the details. We are just trying, we're just like on the way. So you're showing that this is happening definitely, and there's also the, the foldable OLED phones, mm -hmm. which is, is becoming a bigger and bigger market. Mm -hmm. That is 8.03 inch, 360 degrees foldable OLED. It can go both inwards, backwards. Nice. So it's just about the mechanics in there to have them fold in both directions. And here are the specs. Nice and bright. And here you've been uh, folding many times. Yes, it has been tested 200,000 times and there is no crease. It's doing well. No And here we have a rollable. Yeah, it's 18 inch rollable OLED. There are three modes. Is it easy for you to, ah, it's just on the loop. It goes down like this. So it can be used as a portable speaker. It looks like a mini version of the big rollable TV. It is. <laughs> and it's only 20% up, so you can just have the necessary information if you want. Oh. All right, hopefully she's not a copyright. 
<laughs> All right. So the next product is 45 inch bendable OLED. Well. So here are the specs. 3440, 1440. Hello again. Nice. Is this on the market or is future? It is. All right. And there's a long queue in there. People are uh, checking out something amazing in there. Yeah, there are something more amazing. So these are our gaming OLED. So it has a response time of zero point oh should I go on? No, it's just a signal. Yeah. What'd you say? It has a response time of zero point zero three uh, milliseconds and the refresh rate is two hundred forty hertz. So it's really an immersive um, display panel for gamers. And we have the AK seventy seven inch. What why do you, what do you mean by meta technology? Meta, so that is our third generation OLED technology. Um, by using the meta technology, the panel can be 60% brighter and the viewing angles will be widened by 30%. So more, more brightness. Is this third generation already in the market? It is. It's being right. applied and it's using two technologies. Micro lens array, aka MLA. So that allows more light to come out from the panel, making the panel look more bright. Wow. And by using Meta Booster, it's using an algorithm to make the screen even more brighter. Nice. So here we do the 65 inch. And maybe we can go in a, in a tunnel over there. Let's see what's over there. Beyond display. All right. Let's go in here. All right. I'll be doing a little cut because this is popular. Take a video. Yeah. I just wait for these guys and yeah. then I will close. Okay. You cannot see the product yet. Do you, do you want to speak about this? Yeah. Do you think these guys want to speak about it? I can speak about it and yeah. you have like more details. Oh, yeah, let's try. Let's try to say as many technical details as you as you as you want. Maybe we can ask them to touch the panel. Yeah. Maybe. Micro lenses, like in the G3. Uh, you, you just uh, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you would be scared. Right. If you don't pay for anything, you can uh, you can use Wise because it's pretty much free. All right. Just a second. As soon as we have through. I'll be adding this. It might even be at the beginning of the video. Blue phosphorin sent from UDC. Okay. Oh, so this uh, plastic is a substrate. This is rubber. Rubber. Yeah. Yeah. And you just use that. you make the traces? You let you connect the traces flexible. Thank you. So how much? How much switch? Twenty percent. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I just need to come close and then we can do. Do you want to speak about this on video? I can. You, you will, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. this is... Can we touch? Um, he will. You will touch, yeah? Okay, let me, let me start just one second like this. One second. 
All right. So what do we see here? This is the world's first 12-inch stretchable display. Um, we are showcasing this prototype for the first time. This can be stretched by 20%. So now it's 12 inches, but it can go up by 14 inches. It has a high resolution of 100 ppi. And it is very innovative because it can be used as a skin display or um, it can be used as a um, display for cars. It can be used for like literally anything. So there's the same. I could just put one in my pocket and boom. If you want. <laughs> and it'll be fine? Yeah. And this is for the cars. All right. Oh, it's okay right now. So, yeah, can you show how to use it? All right. All right. Oh, that's cool. Here's the copyright. All right. Oh, that's nice. So, it's also the stretchable just put behind the glass? Foam glass? I'm sorry? Uh, it's the same display? Oh, it's the same thing. What's that different? All right. <laughs> It looks very nice. How about um, getting brighter colors and everything? That's what's the challenge here, and what do we see? Some little lines there. It's because it's the first prototype ever. <laughs> we are working on it. Right. It got some damage by shipping. Uh, <laughs> after five thousand people touching. No, more than five thousand actually. <laughs> All right. It looks cool. So the one in the left can be used for cars, and for the one in the right, it can be used for your clothes. For example, if you're a firefighter, you can just put it on your clothes, get the necessary information. This is such big application for everybody who makes clothes. It's groundbreaking. Uh, for people who just want to have their phone in the phone but in the pocket. Um, All right. It's kind of crowded. <laughs> have a pause here. So yeah. Fill this plate. Uh, let me one second. Yeah. yeah. You wait there. Oh, that's cool. But you have to stand here, yeah. so you have to. That was cool. Did you like it? Yeah. In ten years, everybody's gonna have these in the pocket, like uh, a, hopefully, like in a pack of Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's try right here. Can you see that? And here we have 3D? light field. Wow. Oh, it can capture my eyes. Uh, it knows where I am. And it can... Uh, I get... Whoa. All right. So, what do we see here? This so is a 4K? Yeah. And how many fields are there? Yeah, 60 degree, and there's. Uh, I wonder how it works. Every eye gets 4K. For HD for each eye. HD for each eye. So there's four fields, or not? Nothing really. Yeah, it's the 4K divided by four, or oh, HD is eight. So this maybe there's four times two. I don't know how it could work. All right. Well. Uh, Anything else you want to add? Yes. Oh, this looks good. It's just a fancy display. <laughs> yeah, light fields. Even without your glasses. Yeah, stretchable is amazing. All right. That's cool. Stay. Yeah. Oh, let me let me so have, have a break. Oh, you can just start. Yeah. Okay. This is the thirteen point. Do you wanna leave your bag somewhere? Is it okay? Uh, no, it's okay. okay. Am I in the way with this? Yeah. So just it's a thirteen point. Yeah. This thirteen point seven inch transparent OLED in touch. So the transparency is thirty nine percent. It can be used for kiosks. And I can touch. Um. Yeah. Yeah. If you wanna try. So I can buy this. Yeah. Boom. No, it's mine. <laughs> I'll just ship. Oh, yeah, that's where I live. <laughs> okay, and boom, you got the the egg directly. Uh, I always one of these eggs for breakfast. <laughs> right. and, well, this is uh, an in-touch. Are you aware of transparent OLED? 
Yeah. LG is transparent oh. OLED. And uh, you're the pioneer, the, the yeah. market leader? Yeah, the one and only. One and only. Nice. How's the transparency? This one? Yeah. 40%. Cool. OK, let's go. Um, while we're waiting, I can just yeah. like give you more explanation about yeah. the transparent OLED. Um, our 55-inch transparent OLED oh. is um, can be applied for entertainment, retail, office, um, house, literally everywhere. It's being applied in Guggenheim Museum in New York. Nice. And Smithsonian in DC. And on very high-end cool stores. Of course. When you scan your credit card, when you enter, you <laughs> click on the window for everything you yeah. want to buy, and it comes to your house. Yeah, you just need the money. Yeah. That's cool. This is the next one. And our last is... All right. Oh. Oh, this AR. Oh, my God. So what am I looking at here? Uh, this is a 0.42 inch. OLED. Yeah, it has a high pixel density of um, 500 ppi and high brightness. Neat. <laughs> so Let's try to capture it. Oh, are you waiting? Yeah. 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 Let yeah. yeah. me just capture it. Oh, one second. So it's, it can be used for AR and VR technology. Some interesting shapes in there. How that works. Uh, All right. So how much cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. So um, this is showing <laughs> 10 years of going to this. Yeah. This so we've been, <laughs> we've been working for a decade to you know, develop all the technology. And as you know, we are the pioneer of the um, OLED technology and the display industry. And what happened back there? Uh, already something happened. This is the beginning of OLED, yeah, but it's it not yet an LG, right? Oh. The OLED started here with LG? Yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. Ah, the commercialization. So it must have been a lot of work before R&D. Here, the 4K. So the timeline goes like. Nice. And there's a 2016 transparent. This was the start of my 2017 display week. Uh, convergence, crystal sound. My, my TV has this, it's awesome. And here we have Rollable 2018. This is market penetration, re something improvement, and 48 inch, 83 inch came a couple of years ago during the COVID. Second generation last year. And now we are the Meta. Ah, the Meta technology. All right, cool. So, oh yeah, and about the 17-inch foldable, I forgot to add. Um, it can be used for tablet, portable monitor, and on um, laptop as well. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, do you want to get the overview? Yeah. So that's it. Busy booth here. The <laughs> display week. Thank you so much. Is it over? Thank you for letting me convince you. To do that. <laughs> that's awesome. You, uh, I, and you will check. And you tell me if yeah. you like it, how it is. Yeah, you can cool. just send us an email. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Thank you so are much. Are you heading out or are you going somewhere else? Uh, yeah, I need to try to catch 20 more booths before 3 p.m. I'll, I'll try. There's more? <laughs> yeah, I need to, some other guys also. Yeah, you are a little bit. Guy. Oh, not. there's only LG, that's true. <laughs> so you're doing the tech reviews, right? Yeah. Only about this play or about it? Uh, yeah, uh, all cool technology. Really? Yeah. Wow. Check my, my YouTube channel. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. For Thank you. Thank Have you. Nice Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. All right. So that's the best I could do at the LG. I hope it will be a cool edit. I'll. I used to never edit. Now I edit a lot. So Apple booth. Let's look for the Apple VR. I think it's just behind here. Let's do. An interview with the Apple VR exclusive for my live stream viewers. Oh. 
Sorry, one mic needs to be part off. Excuse me, you know if Tom Tom is here? Uh, is this Tom Tom? Yeah, oh, okay. This is Tom so I will ask him after to be on video. Okay, okay. I think uh, your colleague told me I filmed with her, right? Uh, with uh, Tom Tom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Do uh, you mean I call you? Uh, I don't know. He's busy for a while. Okay. Is there any chance you WhatsApp me? You tell me come now and I will come back. You know, I, I need to not miss it before. You need to do a video before he goes away, right? Oh uh, yes, yes. He will so. stay until the end of the show. What time is close? You know, is it 3 p.m. or? Uh, 2 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Yeah. What time is now? Yeah, it's 11. Uh, 11. So before 2 p.m., uh, when is good time? Send me a little WhatsApp. You know how to do WhatsApp? Oh, WeChat. Yeah. Are you in WeChat? You can add me okay. on WeChat. Okay. Uh, Sherbex. Oh. It's me. Okay. Okay, let me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's hopefully. We can do the video. It's just. Right. Okay, so. Okay, see you. Okay. Hopefully, yeah. yeah I shouldn't interrupt and say, ask him when he's available. He oh. don't know. Huh? Okay, okay. Okay, I'll just come back. See you later. See Thank you. Later. See you. Hi. Hi. We, can we do the video with you? You the sure. the corning, right? Yes. Yeah. Cuz uh, yesterday, sorry, I didn't manage. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. So let me Cool. Let's talk to you. Let me find the right people yeah. to get them at the yeah. and then if you're okay with it, we'll do like oh, yeah. what we talked about. We'll do the transparent display, um, yeah. augmented reality, and then this one. Let me just make sure everybody's yeah. ready. Is that okay? Okay. Right. All right. Nicholas? What do you say, sorry? Your name, Nicholas? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Nicholas, this is BG. Um, when we, I, I'm just trying to give everybody a heads up yeah. when we go to each station. So when we come to this station to explain it, how long would you like us to talk for? It's up to you. Uh, what I suggest is, so I'll give you a mic and you can have the second mic. It's just a little instruction about how to use it. Uh, yeah. If you can have this, you will be in the video, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. So if you can clip it on right there in the middle. Yeah. Uh, maybe on your jacket there, a little bit higher if possible. Yeah. And then if you can hold this and not put it in a pocket and just not touch this part so it makes a good, doesn't make interference, yeah. it's not the best uh, transmitter. And so when, when you're not speaking and we, when he's speaking, you can, can you hold it in for two seconds just to get the light off so there's no sound from you anymore when you prepare the next, next one, right? Yeah, yeah. So Does that make sense? So I can try to do it as one. Oh, well, I could stop also. Okay, it's just to I see if it's better to stop, yeah? We're going to want to okay. switch people. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. So I'll okay. No, no, no. I'm so, so. One second. Okay, let's, let's stop in between. It's more easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so just, there's yeah. two stations I'd like us to do. I'd like us to do transparent display over here, and then also this one right here. Yeah. Um. So you're saying should we have a second mic on the other person? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me give you the other mic here, sir. We can start over here. Okay. If that's easier. Yeah. Should we start where? Here, there. I think we should start over there. Okay. Actually, is okay. that okay, BG? Okay. okay, start there. And then we'll come back. But and maybe then we'll, we'll um, do the microphone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me let me just ask. Inoue-san. Inoue-san. 
So uh, this man is recording videos. He's going to different booths and getting tours. Mm -hmm. So I said that for our booth, we would like to focus on the transparent display. So would it be okay if uh, I gave a brief introduction to him and then we also ask you to explain what we're showing mm -hmm. today? Yeah. Yeah. Can so you hold this one? So he's going to have you wear and a microphone. Without touching here, but just uh, like this. Yeah. And then you can clip this. Right here, there. just, just like I did on your okay. jacket. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, it's not perfect, sorry. Okay. 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 So do we, so, can you hear so both you can, of us? It would be both for now. Yeah. So that's okay. <laughs> Let's start from there in the front of the booth, walking in, and we can walk to here. Directly, okay. 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 And this okay. includes also this part here? Or is that uh, different? No, we're going to talk it's about this here, one yeah? here. And then we'll go, if okay. you can turn it off after that, then yeah. we'll reset with this okay. one over here. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for doing this. All right, so you tell me how you, I can start here and then I'll bring you yep. over to the transparent display. Yep. Okay. okay, okay. All right. Hi, welcome to Corning's booth at SID Display Week 2023. What we're showcasing here is our display innovations portfolio. And what that is, is a glimpse of the future. So these are our emerging technologies and applications that we believe will play a, a significant role in the future of human interactions, enhancing face-to-face uh, -face communications, augmenting productivity. So we're excited about all of the technologies in our booth this year, and of course the role that glass plays in each of these. One of them that I'd really like to highlight is our transparent display this year. We worked with JDI on this particular transparent display, and... Um, yep. Transparent. Uh, so there's all kinds of cool applications that could be done and designers, architects can put it in restaurants, in hotels, in stores. Absolutely, yeah. So I'd like to introduce um, Inoue-san from our team uh, who can tell us a little bit more about this particular display. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we, this time we are showcasing the customized version of the JDI's transparent LCD. And uh, which is meant to simulate, simulate the real world applications at the hotel, restaurants, and the ticket window of railway stations. So this is this is this display is featured by the high transmittance. It is 84 percent, and uh, it is a dual side view display. So it is dual. Side view. dual yes, you can see from the other side. It is good to use for face-to-face -face communication, so it can give the useful information to people at both sides, and uh, it doesn't have facial cues. It is very good, and uh, this is a very special display, so it, it doesn't have backlight, but uh, display glass is used as a light guide plate. All right. Therefore, uh, in order to get the high luminance and the high uniformity, uh, transmittance of glass is really important. They, they chose uh, our eagle to make it better. We are collab collaboration leader. All right. Uh, so, at Corning, you're famous for the glass, right? Yeah. And what more comes on the glass to make this real happen? Yeah. What do you add to the glass? Uh, so for glass, uh, as I said, the transmittance is really important. And uh, based on our research, uh, our EGRXG shows a good, pa good performance transmittance compared to other display substrate glasses. So it is a key point. And uh, as an innovation company, uh, we are collaborating to develop the, uh, this kind of new, new uh, future devices. And uh, yeah, it is really important to find the proper application for this kind of technology. So we also collaborate for market development to uh, create the good scenario to use this kind of technologies. So there's two glass substrates two glass substrates, two eagle XG. But uh, when there is text, uh, it can only be read in one way, no? So it's so for more for graphics and stuff like that? That's from both sides, right? Because when yeah. you go on this side, yeah. then the St. Grills is a 
Yeah, Mirai, Mirai image is shown, and uh, it is good to show the. Uh, so this this is a case of translation. So uh, if uh, di uh, different uh, language people uh, use a different language, uh, then this kind of translation is effective to use right. for this device. Right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sure. You'll find the video, it's going to be edited on this, on this one. So <laughs> yes. There. Will be thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Are no you edits. Good? I mean, it'll just be cut together with this. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you have this clipped on there? So just like I did right here with the PT. Yeah. And then just try not to touch it once it's on. Yeah. Maybe, should we put this on this so there's no interference? Let me just put it on there, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, there, okay. Yeah. So yeah. turn this on? Yeah, so it's read on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, well, another interesting technology that we're featuring this year are glass-based solutions for 5G and 6G. Um, and here I'd like to introduce B.G. Kang from our Corning Precision Materials uh, location. He's here to talk about some of this interesting Hello. research that we're showcasing at Display Week. Hey. Hi. So, uh, what do we see here? Yeah, these are the prototypes of uh, the so-called reconfigurable intelligent surface implemented on the Corning Glass. Um, the the motivation of the development of this uh, RIS is um, based on the limitation of uh, modern 5G millimeter wave communications, uh, which enables you a ultra fast data communication. But at the same time, due to its short wavelengths and high frequencies, not allowing the, uh, the coverages. Uh, on, in indoor and outdoor size, and inherently it makes the uh, much blind spots or coverage holes in a real life. So our uh, development is for resolving those blind spot coverage hole issues by enabling a better reflections of the millimeter wave signals coming from radio nodes. Uh, and uh, yes, is it is it doing like phased array antenna? The similar to phased array antenna, but is a little bit different with antenna. It doesn't have any uh, feed networks or um, transmission lines uh, here. So you only see uh, the specific metal patterns designed in advance. Uh, on the glass substrate directly or with some uh, liquid crystal layers inside between two uh, glasses. So um, it has a role uh, for the uh, giving you a beam tilt either in a stationary or the variable or the steering uh, uh, angles. So in the future, yes. displays are going to be antennas. All the displays. Um, yeah, good question or good comment. Um, we are envisioning in the future uh, for incorporating this kind of uh, the RIS product um, to integrate or incorporate with the other device such as um, interior walls or even display device to enable the more. Um, more beam coverage is for 5G uh, millimeter wave uh, communication. That, is it thin copper or what is the material? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, is that thin. visible? If there would be a display behind, it would not interfere with the quality of the display experience? Yeah, current first um, prototypes, uh, you can clearly see the uh, metal uh, pattern, the morphologies of the metal patterns here, but our development direction will be to minimize the visible aperture uh, shown here and uh, make it easy for us to incorporate with other kind of device such as the picture or display device or the uh, wall interior or something like that. Preferably it should be nearly not visible. 
Uh, it should be nearly not visible. That yeah, would be the yeah, that that I think that uh, that should be the direction for us to minimize the aperture, maintaining it the uh, beam tilt capability, so that uh, nearly making it the nearly uh, transparent. You say 5G, 6G. Visible. Is it possible it works with satellites? Can this be the antenna for the Starlink? Oh yeah, I Can think. Can you just have the, it in a building? Yep, yep. The good question. The 5 5G and the 6G. Um, 6G communication. Uh, uh, example. Is one could example. Be other yeah, yeah, could be other things. And uh, the companies like Starlink is actively working on giving a the um, mobile communication um, channel through the, called the 6G link uh, in the upper mid uh, band in the future. And we want to be um, this kind of the uh, reflector could be one of the solution uh, for um, extending its coverage efficiently in the terrestrial area. So if you have a very big window on the roof, yes. it's perfect because then you have a very big antenna and you get a good signal to the satellite? Um, yeah, actually the, um, the normal window doesn't give you a, a big trans, trans, transmittance of the signal, actually. So um, at the, even though we can say it may give you an opportunity for installing antenna there, the property of a window makes it worse to, for, from outdoor side to indoor side uh, in terms of the trans, transmission uh, perspectives. Cool. That's the All right. Issue. Questions, it's okay? No, 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 that's great. Okay. Yeah, Thanks a lot. Do you yeah. want to do like an outro? Sure. Well, yeah. Well, like, like um, it was a great display week. We had a great display week this year. We're happy to, to see so many employees able to travel and people visiting the show once again. And um, we had some great research presentations this week and new demos. So thank you for visiting our booth this year. So, going to JVD. Oh, do I have two mics? Hey, how are you? Hi. Do you know who's doing a laser backlight? Laser backlight? Uh, in eye zone. In eye zone? Ah, I'm 
Who's this? I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure. I know. Later back. I there. Maybe, ah, maybe I need to ask these guys. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hey. hey. Can I do video? Absolutely. Interview? Video? Yeah, of okay. I'll post the video here. All right. Let me give you a mic. Okay. Oh, not this one. Sorry. Right. Can, uh, can you take this on the middle there? Yeah, a little bit high. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the coolest way to see the demo is on this one, or there are two, there are two demos. There's a VR demo and there's an AR demo. Okay. Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jonas. I'm a CEO and co-founder of Vitria Lab. Um, we're a company out of Vienna and we're building laser display components. And the aim is to build very high performance uh, VR display, as you can see here. So this is a laser backlit LCD, which goes up to, to 10,000 nits currently. And we're going to push that up to 100,000 nits. That's pretty bright, no? Indeed. And we do this because uh, in uh, modern VR headsets you lose a lot of light, right? You run your 10% duty cycle, you have 10 to 20% trans transmission through the lens system. So you need a very high panel brightness to start with. So we're going to push this up to 100,000 nits, so that you then still have a few thousand nits going to the eye. You're going to push it to 100,000? Indeed. Uh, because is it, it because of all the reflections and the waveguides and everything? or? What? No, I mean, in, in a VR headset, you just have the panel and the lens, right? And typically, you run the, the panel at 10% duty cycle, and you have a lens which has 10 to 20% transmission, like a pancake lens. So if you want to have a few thousand nits in the, in the eye, so if you want to have like highlights, then you need a few thousand nits. Meta showed actually a 20,000 nits to the eye prototype. So this is where this is going for. 10 times higher efficiency, 10 times higher brightness. 50% larger color gamut mm -hmm. than what? So this is comparing to, for example, uh, OLED or standard LCD panels. So because you have laser, you're going to have a much higher uh, color gamut. You can get up to almost 100% REC 2020. All right. And this is uh, some of your information here? Yes, yes. Uh, so you could put it right here in the projector? This is for the AI, indeed. This is the prototype here on the right. And that could be a laser DLP? Oh, laser, do do? This is a laser L course, could also be a laser DLP. Uh, so what we what we built the, indeed we, we built the illumination in the end. So this is the base technology. You show how this is different from uh, from an LED. The LED is on the left, our chip is on the right, and you can see how, how collimated this illumination is compared to the LED, right? And collimation is, is really the key for all projection systems. And A and V are, are essentially projection systems, meaning they have a panel and they have a lens. So if you have collimation, you can get very high performance. Here you can see also a laser Elcos engine together with a, a diffractive combiner. And the key thing we can show here that I have a good image quality, so you don't have the laser artifacts. I can turn on and off the despeckling. I'm not sure if you can see now some kind of uh, grainy pattern. Now you don't see it anymore. So what do you turn off and on? Uh, this is a uh, despeckling technology we have developed. Because if you have laser illumination of an air course, typically what you have is a lot of speckle. And we essentially able to, to get rid of that. Uh, so what's going to be the future of projectors in VR, AR, compared to, or is it all projectors, even if when it's a micro LED, and when it's an OLED, it's all projecting. But yeah, I mean, the difference? for AR, you always have projectors, right? I mean, if, if it's now micro LED, or if it's an Elcos, or if it's an LBS, they're all projectors. So we're also building projectors. What we do is we take a standard LED Elcos projector, we rip out the LED, and we put in the laser. That's so, the idea. Uh, on, on all these cool, amazing DLP projectors people buy, mm -hmm. and there's some really nice ones, so 500 euro with a laser mm -hmm. for the home, right? Yeah. Are but you doing something we similar to that? No, no. Yeah? We, we just for, for AR. So we don't do uh, home cinema projectors or this kind of stuff. We just do for head-mounted displays. Is it a different kind of laser? Different? 
everything's different? Everything is different. At home you need a very, very high amount of lumens. You need thousands of lumens and you, you don't care much about the form factor. And it's a very, very well established technology where we are solving very specific problems for, for AR. And uh, so what more is in here? Is it the same yeah, information yeah, yeah. as some other? What's happened there? Yeah, you can see uh, some information um, about how the technology works in principle. How, what's the key project? This is quantum dark chip. It's a glass that emits uh, laser rays. And on the right here, we kind of list how, how you apply this into a VR product. But you can find also a lot of my information on our web page. So you're so much better than these other solutions? Indeed, that's, that's the idea. This is coming like, um, because we can use lasers. All these other solutions don't use lasers. Are there thousands of different kinds of lasers in the world? Or how does, what is a laser? No, I mean a laser, I mean it, what you use is our laser dyes, right? And there are not many different manufacturers, maybe four or five manufacturers. And they, they, these are like laser pointers and all kinds of stuff. And we just use them in a very particular way in these, in these products. And uh, some LASIK sur surgeons, they use lasers. Mm -hmm. It's not this, it's no. not gonna, uh, what I'm trying to ask is, it's never gonna be too bright for the eyes. At some point there's a limit, no? And uh, it's, no, not, I mean, it's not gonna be damaging, it's actually better. Or you actually, we need much more than this to have realistic AR. I mean, it's not damaging to the eye. So this, this is the one thing. So essentially what we do, we, we also use diffusers and we split the laser beam from one laser dye to many thousand beams. So there's no eye safety. But of course it's very different from what the laser eye surgeon is, is using. So it's a very different kind of laser. And uh, here, I'm just gonna have a look. Whoa. So what I'm looking at, is that the brightest VR experience in the world? It's quite possible, yeah. I mean, for sure with an LCD. I mean, the Imagine also has some very similar brightness currently. They're also like around 10,000 nits. But this is quite possibly the brightest VR display currently. Which is pretty awesome that you have that. Thank you. Uh, but there are uh, micro LED, micro display manufacturer. They talk about millions of nits. Mm -hmm. What do they mean by that? Oh, that's before all the, the I mean, we have, wave you have to guys and everything? You have to differentiate VR and AR products because they're very different. So there's nobody doing uh, micro LED for VR. They could probably do millions of nits if they wanted to, but uh, what they typically want to build is AR projectors. Uh, and there are yeah, millions of nits they have, uh, but this is before you, you put the combiner, essentially, because you want to have like a thousand, two thousand nits into the eye from after an AR combiner, so you have to start with a lot of light. So if you take one million nits, and through all the optics and everything, at the end you get a thousand. It's like 0.1 percent of yeah, what's originally. It's so, like the DLP nits is also very high in the beginning. Yeah. And the LCAS. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't tell you the exact number because it's pretty specified in lumen in the in this industry. So this is around two lumen currently. It's gonna go up to ten lumen, and this is then transfers to like a few thousand nits to the eye. All right. Let me have a quick quick test on this one. Right. Mickey and me are so clear in there. All right, so what's your background in the company and uh, who's your team around here? Uh, so my background is, is physics. I started, uh, did a PhD in quantum physics and then we, we use this kind of wave cut technology and span it off from the university to display products. Uh, we are around five years old. We're based in Vienna in Europe. Uh, part of my team is here. Um, we're over all 13 people. Can you introduce them? Yeah, we have, we have Hartmut over here, so our, our business developer. Yeah. And we have Shai over here, so he's running our um, light engine team. Yeah. And then we have Jan over there, so he's running the, the weight team. All right. Uh, can, let's ask, um, what's the challenge about a waveguide? And do you have to work on that to make the best product? We, we don't make these waveguide combiners. This is something we buy from partners. We, we build waveguides that go into the projector system. Which is a very, very important uh, distinction. The, the challenge is to make um, these many thousand beams happen, that they're all at the same brightness, that you have the correct mixture of the different colors, that you have a high degree of directionality. In the end, what it is, is a very high performance illumination system. Nice. And what, is, what are we looking at here? This is just an, an image from an uh, early prototype where we built an AR projector. So what you see here is, uh, is the Elcos panel. Uh, here you have a polarizing beam split and here you have the lens essentially which then projects the light out. And here what you see here is a much, much smaller version. So if you go on the left, if you go over the le on the left you can see here the metallic part. This is essentially the newer projector, it's much smaller. 
But this is now going down towards one cubic centimeter. This is still like three cubic centimeters fiber powered. Uh, what kind of conversations do you have here at the Display Week? Has it been an awesome week for you? Hey, it's been a very awesome week and everybody really likes this, this statement that we can make a like, reality ten times brighter because that's what people are, are looking for. And this is exactly what we can realize. This is the key uh, selling proposition of, of our technology. So how far are we from a uh, VR, AR world that it's like the matrix or you, you're like, it's like real life? Um, I, I think that uh, we can bring this technology to the market in around two, two years. It's going to be the key enabling to make very immersive VR experiences uh, where you can really not tell if you're like inside or outside the, the real world. And also for AR, I mean, you always kind of be in the real world, <laughs> uh, but it's really important that you can go outside and actually still see the image. This is one of the key challenges people have faced now to put very strong shades, like with HoloLens or Magic Leap, and the idea is that you have essentially normal transparent glasses, but you can still see the image. Because uh, when we're outside on a sunny day, there's a lot of nits. Yeah, there's a lot of nits, yeah. So it's okay to get a lot of nits. Yeah, I mean, more more. indeed, indeed. So, I mean, outside you're going to find things in sunny day, like 10,000 nits. So you're going to need to have an AR goggle, which is on a similar scale. So you, you want maybe also 10,000 nits and this kind of stuff. So, and this is what there has to be the big, big struggle, right? And that's why there's also billions of investment going micro LED, because they, so far it was the only technology that could deliver this high brightness and we an alternative. And we say, look, we, we don't have to wait five to 10 years for micro LED to actually work. We, we can put this on the market on a much faster time scale. So which technologies use the backlight? Uh, is DLP, Elcas? We can use both, but Elcas is the more accepted standard because it allows you to make small compact devices. But we could also equally use LCD. DLP. LCD is in the VR system. LCD you cannot use cannot for Cannot do transparent. We, we can do transparent, but I mean, it's not used in AR because LCD is very low um, transmission. So you want to have this high energy efficiency that DLP and Elcas give you. All right, any other? Uh, like you need to have some guys to come here with the eye tracking, perfect eye tracking, and what else is needed? The batteries that, that last forever. How, how long is your battery gonna last? I mean, we, oh, I don't we, care if I have a huge power bank in the pocket, but yeah, do you yeah. have to? I mean, we're not building the entire glasses, right? So I mean, there's a lot of other things, another a lot of other companies necessary. But what we can do is we can um, quite drastically increase the efficiency. Yeah. This is something. Um, well, the efficiency. So what we, for example, have here, we, sh we show how, I mean, with the, we can increase efficiency because we can drop off the necessary illumination as your active pixels go down. Because it's a big topic in AR that uh, you typically only have a few pixels on and you don't want to use a lot of LNG to illuminate your Elcos panel. This so is something we can do with this technology. I get a comment. Uh, this is the right solution for daylight AR glasses that could live up to a strong sun outside. Indeed. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. So we think that around 10,000 nits is really the maximum we will need, but that is what, what you should be doing. And I need to ask you, is your laser tech going to be used to make TVs? No. No, it's not going to be used to use TVs. Maybe in the far future, but we are really focused, solely focused on this displays because there we have a very strong advantage of ex existing technologies. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, just finish the video. Is it on the loop? What's happening in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find it. There we have it. Whatever Apple is launching next week is not bright enough. We're joking. But uh, who knows, maybe. Yeah, we'll All right, see. so you're ready to partner with everybody in the industry. Yes, we're ready to partner with anybody in the industry and bring this technology to the market. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Okay. This, the video is going to go here. You, uh, you have my card, right? Yeah, I already Can I have your contact? What's up? Yes. Yeah.
Right. Let's see. This guy is available. Hey. Hi. Is it possible that I could do the video? Uh, you with these guys? Where's this guy from the TV? Hey. How do we do the best video? You will be? Uh, for <laughs> I did the interview with your colleague. Oh. Uh, you know all these YouTube videos? Uh, you know my video? We did it yesterday. Ah, what did you say? Uh, yesterday. Our yeah. CEO, the SID or yeah, the media? I'm, uh, I'm uh, just my YouTube. Let me show oh, you my I see, YouTube. I see, I see. You know my YouTube? Uh -huh. Let me show you. Oh, sorry. My bag. Yeah. <laughs> you know those videos? Videos? Uh, this is me. Oh, this oh, is 285,000 oh, 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 nice. views. There. Nice. And okay. we also have this one. So that's Display Week uh, 2018. Oh, I see, I see. Nice. There was these guys the, on my video. Who's, so let's do a new video. Sure, okay. I want to get... Why I have not followed you yet. Let me, <laughs> yeah. let me capture. Charbex. Okay. Right. I give you this. Nice. And also, just let me also give you my car first. Nice. I'm the senior VP here. So, yeah. so you will be good to me on video. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. will be asking some questions or something. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Let's try. Or yeah. Yeah. Let me give you this. Uh -huh. Oh no. Actually, this this will be mine. I give you the other one. Oh, actually, it's fine. Yeah. Let me give you this one. Okay. Okay, if you can uh, clip this on, on your badge. Do you like traveling? Do you like sending money around the world? Use wise. Be smart. Don't use your bank. If you use your bank, I was doing that before. I didn't know they took so many fees. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Using wise, I think I'm saving a thousand euros every year. Just because I do a few payments, I can use my Android phone to do the payments, or it works on I, Apple Pay, or I can use my Wise card also, of course. And this Wise card is optional. So you can ask them to send you the card, it's seven euros, and then you have this Visa debit, you know? Otherwise, you can use your Android Pay instantly. You can sign up right now. Use my link, thank you very much. Use my link. Go. All right, okay. Cool. Okay. So let's, uh, if you can come with me. Yeah. Yeah. And you can have your pocket, uh, hand in the pocket. It's cool in the beginning. Just to be cool. And then you just walk there. And then when we film the stuff, it's cool if you're behind and I film and you can speak from behind. Behind the, yeah. the desk? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay. So maybe uh, I can do like this and you can say hi and you can introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, hi. Uh, one second, one second. Okay. Hi, I'm Phil Chen, the senior VP from JetBird Display, JBD. So what's happened the last three, four years? Yeah, so we have been developing our micro LED displays in monochrome color and also in polychrome, which is our latest product. We call it the Hummingbird. Which we officially launched yesterday at SID. So this is full color? Full color, the world's smallest polychrome micro LED projector with a volume of only 0.4 cc cubic centimeter. Nice. And you have it uh, demonstrated? Yes. And here we have a reference design where we couple our latest projector with a decent waveguide. Mm. So you can see through the glasses, you will see very vivid images. Wow. All right. Let me try to capture this on the camera. Yeah. There we have. It's, it's at... So, so it's full color? Yes, it is full color. How good colors do you have? 
Yeah, it's uh, we have a bit. We have uh, resolution wise 640 by 480 at uh, pixel pitch 4 micron. Light engine has a 3 RGB. 4 micron. It's quite small. Yeah. That's how we can make the world's smallest uh, so projector. Yeah. One is just single mono full HD. And GMB. No, it's 640 a, by 480. Yeah. But the polychrome has the RGB. How soon you can make 4K? Uh, we wish yeah. Not that uh, next year. Uh, yeah, no, maybe yeah, maybe two years or so. Uh, that's amazing. So so how do you combine all three? This this is three there. Yes. So we combine them through a X cube um, geometry. So is it's a, yeah, it's an optical combiner. Let's see. Polychrome. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. This is yeah. This is, yeah. So, so what's what is shown here? Yeah. So you take three individual monochrome uh, micro LED panels. You combine them together through a X cube. And then on top of the, uh, in front of the X cube, you have the uh, color mating lens. So overall, you finish this. Um, yeah, you complete this uh, projector. Yeah, polychrome. All right. Um, so there's like some kind of prism, but all three coming in. Yeah, through the X cube, we call it the X cube optics. It is basically an optical combiner which combines three colors into the full color white. Is it very difficult to design this or yeah, it, it there's takes, a way to do it? Yeah, it takes some effort to design it in such a small form factor. And also it is challenging to do the active alignment because you need to make sure all three colors align well. And uh, through you know, months of engineering, we managed to achieve this. Nice. How bright is the image? Yeah, very good question. So we are now looking at into eyes more than 1,000 nits. And uh, by our design, because we are already recently you know, going into mass production, so the nominal in-eye brightness coupled with a decent waveguide could be close to 2,000 nits, which is sufficient for outdoor applications. Uh, the previous videos I did with JBD, you yeah. were talking about million nits. Which which color? How do you do so much brightness? Yeah. So uh, yeah, at an individual single color, you know, monochrome panel level, we now have 0.75 million nits from green uh, from red. We have five million nits out of green, and then we have one million nits out of blue. So when you combine all these three colors together, you can achieve such high brightness. But how is it that 5 million goes down to 1,000 nits? Yeah, because if you look at the waveguide efficiency, it's way less than 1%. We certainly hope that we can see 0.1? No, one, less than 1% efficiency all, right. all over the waveguide. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to write this one. Yeah. Okay. okay, behind. Yeah, yeah, taking Sorry. a video yeah. right. on the YouTuber. Yeah. Cool. Hey, what's up? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. All right. And uh, do you have the single ones also showing here? Uh, no. yeah. So this full color? Yeah. Oh, what, is, what is on here? That's a monochrome. Oh, yeah. the, the microphone. Let's grab you the mic. Speak yeah. also. Yeah, yeah, you can. I can take my mic. You can no, both no, be no, on? You oh, you can take it yeah, over. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a mic. Yeah. 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 Put it down below. Yeah. yeah. Right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see if. Um, okay. You can. Let's see. Sorry. Can I move this? Yeah. Sure. Right here. So. Can I try this one? Yeah. Sure. Please go ahead. Okay. Let me try to focus on this. Okay. Oh. Sorry. I can one leave second. It here. Yeah, let's just try to get it. It's gonna be. Oh. Okay, I have to go manual. Try it. All right. So what are we looking at here? So that's our 0.13 inch display. Um, so that's going into that pair of glasses. And this is a projector based on the 0.13 inch display. Actually, this display won the Display of the Year award at SID. All right. Yes, and here we have got an end product from one of our customers <laughs> called Li Weike. 
and they just use one monochrome projector here and split the image but it's a very clever design where you have a binocular vision with just one projector and it's using waveguides. Nice. Binocular with just one projector. That's right. And it's very clear in there, it's green. It's very green, it's just using one projector and uh, the claim brightness to the eyes is about 1500 nits. Yeah, the green one original starts at what nits? Uh, so it's about four to five million nits depending on the display. So for this display with the SPI quad SPI interface uh, that we just saw, uh, that's got a typical brightness of four million nits and our new version with the MIPI interface is typically five million nits. All right, so it goes from five million to 1,500 at the end. Yes, because you have got losses through the projection optics and the waveguides are extremely lossy, but that's why you need a micro LED display. Uh, so if you thousand, start a thousand that you'll end up with one. <laughs> is it possible to have a different design for the uh, the waveguides and everything, the optics that brings you 10,000 with the, the same chip? There's, there's uh, different architectures available. Uh, waveguide is known to have the smaller form factor, lightweight and uh, you know, it's manufacturable, uh, especially the diffractive kind, but there are other architectures available uh, which are f more, more efficient. Uh, so what's in your box here? So in the box we've got like different uh, just samples here. We've got the same display that we talked about and this is the full color display that you see in the binocular glasses demo. And we have got like the three displays going into the uh, X cube, uh, just being shown there. Is this the size of the projector on my next phone to project uh, on a wall, or um, it's designed to be focused at infinity? So you need to re redesign the lens to focus it at a certain focal uh, plane. Uh, but yes, it it can be integrated into various micro projection systems. So, do you have some demos projectors? Uh, no, we do not have a projection demo because, uh, no, it's not set up. But You're just showing AR? Yes, yes. And do you do VR? Uh, we have, we, we are capable of doing displays for VR, but we do not have a standard uh, range of products that goes into VR. And we also have UV displays, so the same projector is available as a UV projector as well. And it's a really small hobbies projector that uses uh, UV illumination to kill the VAT and the resin. So, it's what is it for? It's for printing small intricate parts. So, if you're a hobbyist 3D printer, if you make your own, you know, projects, uh, use, you know, many people have 3D printers at home to print their models. So. Let's say like Dungeons and Dragons figures and whatnot, figurines, uh, if you want to make, make your own. So uh, my next phone yes. could have a built-in 3G, 3D projector, uh, the 3D uh, printer. You could cure material, yes. If you integrate that projector, uh, you can cure material. Projector and printer and AR, all from the same chip. <laughs> right? It should be nice to have a, a device that does all at, at the same time. That would be fantastic. Uh, so that's the MIPI display that goes into this projector. So that's also the display of the year. All right. Uh, can you talk a little bit about... Um, so the last three, four years. Right. Uh, what's been happening at your co company? All right. So we have come out a long way. Uh, that's our CEO presenting uh, the display that won the Display of the Year award. So the next display is about our uh, video is about our new factory in Shang uh, Hefei. So we have got a fab in Shanghai but this is our new factory in Hefei. Uh, this makes us the largest micro LED manufacturer by far. Uh, this is our clean room. The whole building? Yeah, this is, is JBD. All, is all JBD. Yes, the and whole, it's a micro is, display fab. That's a micro display fab. As you can see, the wafer is being inspected here. Uh, we are showing some non-critical processes. Nice. So there's a huge demand. Correct. For this, yeah. and the market is yes. It's just about to explode, no? Yes, and you can see it from like independent analysts. They are predicting when the market is growing, and at the moment, most 
smart glasses uh, that are available in the market has got a JBD micro LED display we have got a very very good coverage and here uh, for that what it means is that our displays have to be super reliable and this are like reliability chambers so this whole room is for reliability testing um, this is your wafer that's our wafer here you have uh, 615 AR glasses I'm joking but how many there could be a bunch on, on the little yes so wafer. that that wafer itself has around 350 uh, displays on it Cool. So there we have a whole village. That's full right. Of AR yes. Glasses. And on the video, you can see. Oh, sorry, you just missed it. Um, they were showing how the uh, the chip from there uh, wafer is picked and uh, packaged. And um, you have office in Hong Kong also. We have a small financial office in Hong Kong, uh, but we have got people all over the world. I'm personally based in the UK. We have got colleagues in the US. Uh, both R&D uh, and also on the marketing and sales side, yes. And there, there has been announcements, I think Vuzix, for example, Yes. they're working with you? That we have been partners for a long while, we have got a very healthy partnership with Vuzix, um, so they've got a new platform, they're launching with, uh, you know, micro LED displays, uh, and we work very closely to get uh, the products out. They're an awesome company. And they are the best. <laughs> there's so much. Like there's a rumor that on June 5, some company over there that's called uh, with a fruit yes. is going to launch VR. But then OAR, who knows? And then you know, if this turns out great, maybe millions of people want products like this. Absolutely, that company we are talking about has a huge market presence. Uh, we believe uh, the product they will launch will be very successful and it will be great for the industry. Uh, you know, a number of uh, thousands of very smart people are working in this industry. They just need the, the consumers to be aware of what's going on and this company in particular might have the, has the brand value to, you know, get consumers curious. Cool. And there is your 0.4 CC. That's correct. That's the, that's the one. Uh, do you announce anything about the next gen? Uh, we we are a bit uh, cautious on uh, uh, when we release a press release. Uh, so when we are ready with the technology and a product uh, that's reliable, we announce it to the world that we are ready for production. Uh, so. This is our latest product that we have launched in the market uh, that's in mass production. Uh, so we take, it's a cycle time of roughly around six months uh, that we announce a new product every year. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Hey, Nicholas. Okay. Yeah, thanks for seeing The same amount of views like before COVID. Sure. I mean, uh, uh, let's exchange our emails because yeah. you are in China often and like to oh yeah, to I, would, I would like to film in the, oh, let me just uh, put this. AK Future with 48 gigabit per second support and does the whole um, infrastructure for, for certifying, for testing, for making sure there's no interference with the, with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have. So thanks a lot for watching, check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid visa debit card right so you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account and there's zero fees the fees are so tiny it's like five to ten times cheaper than your bank don't use paypal anymore don't use western union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world just use wise it's way faster and it's five to ten times cheaper so really check it out it's cool and i appreciate if you use my link below thanks for watching Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED 
LCD light box ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150, it's crazy. And it's really amazing and it's free. You can sign up, use your Android Pay, your Apple Pay, or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world. It's great to pay for stuff, right? Or send some money, tiny little fees, it's smart. Check it out. Can I send you some money? I would use WISE if I had to send you some money. I will not send you some money. I'm pretty sure I will not do that. But if I did, I would use WISE. It's really amazing. You can send money all over the world, 150 countries. You can send money to India. You can send money to the US. You can send money to Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, everywhere. And then you get a local bank account. It's crazy. You get a bank account in the US and Europe. It's really amazing. And the fees are five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. So use it as a prepaid debit card. Buy a bunch of stuff on the internet. Save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies. Check my video where I explain a bunch of more stuff. Why this is a smart way. And use my link so I can make some money. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use WISE. WISE is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your WISE card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth 8K future with 48 gigabit per second support. And there's the whole um, infrastructure for, for certifying, for testing, for making sure there's no interference with the, with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have. So thanks a lot for watching. Check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid visa debit card right so you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account and there's zero fees the fees are so tiny it's like five to ten times cheaper than your bank don't use paypal anymore don't use western union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world just use wise it's way faster and it's five to ten times cheaper so really check it out it's cool and i appreciate if you use my link below thanks for watching Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. 
you guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150 it's crazy and it's really amazing and it's free you can sign up use your android pay your apple pay or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world it's great to pay for stuff right or send some money tiny little fees it's smart check it out can i send you some money I would use wise if i had to send you some money i will not send you some money i'm pretty sure i will not do that but if i did i would use all right Um, so what time is it? It's 12. There's at least two hours more. Hopefully three. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if I'm walking on the... Hi, hey, how are you? How are you? Good Hi. to see you. Nice. Oh, he's the interviewer. Yeah. I'm the guy with the camera. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That was a cool video. Oh, a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I remember. You remember too. Yeah. So it's really amazing. You can send money all over the world. 150 countries. You can send money to India. You can send money to the US. You can send money to Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, everywhere. And then you get a local bank account. It's crazy. You get a bank account in the US and Europe. It's really amazing. And the fees are five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. So use it as a prepaid debit card. Buy a bunch of stuff on the internet. Save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies. Check my video where I explain a bunch of more stuff. Why this is a smart way. And use my link so I can make some money. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use WISE. WISE is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your WISE card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth 8K future with 48 gigabit per second support. And there's the whole um, infrastructure for, for certifying, for testing, for making sure there's no interference with the, with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have. So thanks a lot for watching. Check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com.
Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid visa debit card right so you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account and there's zero fees the fees are so tiny it's like five to ten times cheaper than your bank don't use paypal anymore don't use western union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world just use wise it's way faster and it's five to ten times cheaper so really check it out it's cool and i appreciate if you use my link below thanks for watching Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150 it's crazy and it's really amazing and it's free you can sign up use your android pay your apple pay or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world it's great to pay for stuff right or send some money tiny little fees it's smart check it out can i send you some money i would use wise if i had to send you some money i will not send you some money i'm pretty sure i will not do that but if i did i would use wise it's really amazing you can send money all over the world 150 countries you can send money to india you can send money to the us you can send money to malaysia indonesia korea everywhere and then you get a local bank account it's crazy you get a bank account in the us and europe it's really amazing and the fees are five to ten times cheaper than your bank so use it as a prepaid debit card buy a bunch of stuff on the internet so he went to the us yep, thanks. and now he's, he's even in, in trouble thanks here all. okay let's see when you buy stuff in different currencies check my video where i'll be live streaming okay okay we'll shut yeah. up no oh, you okay let's do it right here Okay, I'll, I'll start here. All right, so what am I looking at here? You're looking at a WUXGA display, which is 1920 by 1200 resolution that is directly patterned. And so it's, in this case, it's a 9.6 micron pixel pitch, that's RGB, and the RGB is put down with our technology. So usually a display of this size is white with color filters, but in this case, uh, we directly pattern. So the advantage is, in this particular display, is, uh, has a uh, maximum luminance of 10,000 candela per meter squared. And we've recently done one that's uh, 15,000. The advantage here, though, even if you don't need that brightness, then the power consumption is approximately five times better. So this technology is what uh, will be used for many applications. The other thing to think about is, if you ask a VR company, what do you need? They'll tell you a few things. One is I want to have a uh, large field of view and no screen door effect. So eyes like yours maybe are 60 pixels per degree and mine are not as good, but uh, somewhere between 30 and 60 is good. 40 is, uh, looks pretty good to many companies, so 100 degree field of view and 40 pixels per degree, you need 4,000 resolution. So you need high resolution. The other thing though you need is high brightness. If I want 200 nits to the eye, even though it's occluded, I want 200 nits to the eye, uh, the, every company says to us to avoid motion artifacts, what we need to do is we need to have a duty cycle of 10%. So the uh, display light is on 10% of the time. And so therefore you need 10 times higher brightness. 
So 200 to the eye times 10 is 2,000, and the optics are not perfect, as you know as well as I do. And so if the optics are 20% efficient, then you need five times that 2,000, you get to 10. Every company we, with whom we spoke has to be 10 or greater. Some applications, like you can imagine, need to get even higher uh, brightness, and in that case we're doing a project uh, there's a group paying us two and a half million dollars to develop even brighter. We're doing, a, for example, a tandem on direct patterning, and instead of 15,000, maybe 30,000. And instead of the 10,000, this one will go to 20. So that doubles the brightness. So everything you've heard a Whitewood Color Filter company say they can do, we can do as well, and we're ahead today, and we'll stay ahead. So things like micro lens arrays, micro cavities, et cetera, we can do that too. Uh, how does it feel to be ahead of everybody else? <laughs> well, it feels very good, but uh, do not relax ever because this industry goes forward like mad and we are not relaxing. That's why I just told you we're, we did 15,000 nits and we're looking to do a uh, tandem with that and that'll be uh, near and 30. And 15,000 is what goes to the eye? Or there's all the optics well, that take stuff you, away? If you would like it to go to your eye, you can look directly at the display and it will do that. But uh, yeah, remember I said there's two things you have to do. One of them is you need a duty cycle, like 10%. And the other thing you need to do is you need to put an optic in front of it because I want a wide field of view and magnify the display. As soon as I do that, then I have uh, much less brightness coming out of the display, but that's why I need it that bright. And uh, in this case, I, oh, one other thing. In this case, we can satisfy the brightness needed for the optic, the brightness needed for the duty cycle, but there's one other thing. So we had a company interested in the uh, VR. They uh, had us design a 4,000 resolution display. And when that company talked to us, they said, I don't only want the brightness for the uh, duty cycle and the optics. I want, when you're looking at a beach scene, for example, and there's a piece of the beach that is brightly lit by the sun, I want you to feel it. This has to be an immersive view. And our displays are the ones that can do that. Uh, so this, the stuff that you have that's very high prof professional for certain commercial professional markets uh, is you also make it available that could potentially be consumer? Oh, well, yes, we would in have this particular technology. Uh, I don't want to get too technical on you, but this technology is okay uh, to be uh, used outside the United States. I think that's what you're talking about, you know, a commercial application. We've often to talked about mass production partner. You know, of course, of our uh, relationship now with the uh, agreement with Samsung. That's not closed yet, of course, but uh, that's uh, a one way to get to mass production. The other thing that uh, our facility now, the, uh, we have a grant of $39 million that uh, the equipment's uh, going in, and this equipment will be able to mass produce at our volume scale, direct patterning and direct patterning with tandem. And that will give uh, prototypes for consumers, not uh, millions per month that consumers will need. And it will also give uh, all we need for the other customers that we have. All right. So, so that's the, the highest performance you have here at the booth? Oh, that one is, yes. Yeah? So let, let me have a, a look. Whoa. That's in the booth, and it's only running at 3,000 nits, if my right. memory serves me correctly. We do have the 15,000 in a, in a room, but uh, so, performance. All right, thanks. Uh, so, uh, how does your technology compare with some of the things that are happening, micro LED, uh, or the backlit technologies? You're just gonna be superior? Well, I, I think the thing you have to realize is that micro LED, I would assume that they will be in things like, well, they went from jumbotrons, right, to TVs. I think that's going to occur first. And then it's much easier to do with, you can have larger LEDs and you have a 
you can have a much bigger gap between the subpixels. And then maybe cell phones. And but these guys have very small subpixels, right? In this this particular one, it's 9.6 micron, and there are three subpixels in there. So when the subpixels are very small, the efficiency of micro LED goes uh, down. So you got to solve that problem, and you have to solve the manufacturing problem. And I'm sure you'll hear some people say, "Hey, we got it done," but it's not there. Can you describe your company? Like, how does it work? Like, the engineer figure this out and make it happen and everything. It seems <laughs> oh, very. We, we do have uh, a group futuristic, that, advanced. Yes, we technology. Do, do have a uh, group that work on next generation technology, both on the uh, the OLED side and the uh, how how are you going to manufacture this OLED? Uh, we have a large group of uh, engineers and scientists who have, have put this together. And we also have designed the back planes ourselves. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you got to have Thank this. You. Otherwise, okay. you'll be listening to me all day, which I'm sure you don't yeah. want to. Thank you. All right, thanks okay. a lot. I think thanks. you gave me your card just before, no? Thank yeah, you. I think I did, but you can okay. check. Oh, right here. I want to send you this later. Send it to me. There, yeah, I got it. Okay, okay. thanks okay, a lot. Now, Thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> thanks a lot. All right. Um, look at the plane knife. Yeah, yeah. How about Porotech? You know them? I know. They're interesting. Because uh, there was one guy at the booth that I was waiting for, but he was never available. Because uh, I already did the booth tour with these guys. Um, I think he's still busy there. Uh, so, do you mind trying to do LG? Yeah, it's, or Samsung? Like, uh, see if we can do it quick and uh, get a million views. Do I do I have to share my advertising revenue with you as a collab? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just. Uh, um, do you mind? Do you mind doing this part of the wall? Uh, Say what you think? Oh, the Samsung? About the QD OLED stuff. Why not LG? I think I can do LG. Yeah. I know them better. Black technology. Okay. Which side do you want to do? You tell me. Yeah. I think that's the most Okay, let's start with this one. This yeah. yeah. Can you stick this one? Just hold it? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, maybe you can put this on your, on your badge. Uh, the yes. other way, maybe. Just for my signal. Ah. This one go in the middle there. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you can introduce yourself, like you know. Talk about your sites and everything. Oh, okay. And then we go. Okay, let's try. We're, we're okay. Talking? One second, I'll yeah. Tell me what. Okay. Hi, I'm Ron Mertens from OLED Info and Mario OLED Info. Today with Charbox and we're talking about LG Display's latest OLEDs. You see okay? Yeah. So uh, LG has been doing the earliest, the biggest TV OLED investment for a bunch of years now. Yeah. And it's been an amazing time. No? It's amazing. I think, I mean, I mean, I think that's one of my favorite displays here. I don't want to insult everybody else, but it's, it's a really nice looking display, the 8K. I don't know if you can see it in your photo. Yeah. Um, now they have this new meta technology. The idea is that you are adding micro lens, really, really small micro lens, right? There's like billions of micro lens on this display. So improving the light output. Um, and it looks great. I think in general, what we see in the display industry these days is that most of the focus is going into enhancing the brightness or more importantly, the efficiency of the displays. So, you know, that's one technology that now introducing the micro lens, you can see it there. How does that work? It's, it's yeah, then you put, it's like an enlargement of the pixels, but on each pixel they're putting like hundreds or thousands, I don't know how many, small micro lenses. And then the idea is that, you know, these devices collimate the light, so more light is output outside of the display to your eyes. So it's just a matter of, you know, losing less light 
going outside, putting it all into. Is it eye. enhancing the direction of the beam or something? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that makes sense because OLED by itself is an Lambertian device. It emits light everywhere, and you really want to have it, you know, into your light on site. And they have some kind of patterning. It's got to be some kind of system that can make them so small and precise. And or does it? And, maybe on, the, and on the chip. Precise. It's. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on yeah. microlens. <laughs> We're yeah. going to have to ask LG. Maybe. Somehow they make it work in there. They make it work, and we see the same technology at other makers as well. They're not the only ones who are doing it. They're, I think I even saw a smartphone display with a similar technology. So that's going rather well. They're also applying it to, um, you know, gaming monitors. All right. So the same meta technology, the 27 so inch 45. That also has. A sort of anti-reflectance screen. You can see. I'm not sure if it goes through the camera, but it beats of like, you know, it really keeps reflections away, so it looks a bit matte. Like that's nice. How would you say um, they compare with the QD OLED? Well, that's a, <laughs> a tough question. I'm not getting there. I think they're both excellent displays. I mean, you know, both OLEDs. Um, so yeah, uh, advantages for both. Yeah. I think we are being spoiled with this quality in the shops, it's amazing, these OLEDs, okay. right? I think you cannot go really any better than this. And you know, that's actually, I think, a problem for the display industry, because when you go to new technologies, you go you know, into micro LEDs, you go to all sorts of displays, QD emitting displays, and then you know, us as consumers cannot really see the difference anymore, because this is pretty much perfect. Um, so that's good and bad both, but that's where the world is going. You know? The next step is, of course, you need to be transported inside the movie uh, yeah. and just by some kind of uh, a light field magic. How do you like all these light field displays? That's, I, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a challenging, for, at least for me, usually it gives me a bit of a headache, the light field displays. You have to, but if you look at it carefully from the right position, then, you know, that's nice. We saw some displays that you can interact with, you know, like, you can move objects on the light field display. That's kind of neat. But um, yeah, there's a nice light, light field display here demo. We can see it if you want. I'm not uh, sure, but how about we check the mobile stuff? Mobile so, stuff. Yeah. Uh, so this is mostly about flexible displays. We're seeing. Is is it like a? It's a it's a new thing for LG to do mobile. It's an flexible no, OLED, no? No, no. They've been doing it for many years. They even supply Apple and other companies. So some of the Apple iPhones have. LG displays. What's new here is that the display can fold to both yeah. sides. You can see it here. So it's not like only infolding, which is like what's on the market today. We only, you know. But do you think some of the uh, brands that are shipping foldable phones could be using LG? Or um, not yet? We'll I'm see. not sure. That's something we can discuss exactly. But yeah, they're out there and they look great. Um, and this one, like I said, can fold both ways. So that's like an innovation. You have a foldable laptop. I think that these devices are kind of kind of nice. People are liking, actually liking the fact you can you, you can have a really large display, then you can cut it in half and carry it like a normal small laptop. It still works. You can have a virtual keyboard in there. I like the, the idea of uh, carrying it folded and boom, you have a huge and but you need an external keyboard, and yeah. you have like a desktop in yeah. a small laptop size. Exactly right. That's impressive. That's um, cool. Yeah, here How do you like the the stretchable display? The stretchable one is really cool. I'm not sure if they can we go in. Yeah, they let us right. in. Um, yeah, that's actually a micro LED display. That's not an OLED. Um, so no, we consider micro LED to be the next generation display technology. This All is right. a very early stage display, so you obviously see a lot of defects, and you know the resolution is small, and the colors are not impressive. Oh, but that's a, this stretchable form covers you know, everything. That's, yes. uh, so you that's where the world is going now. Into this, right? <laughs> yeah. Nice. How do you into make the? How do you make the? We still feel this technology yeah. is probably five, ten years uh, away. That's actual that's consumer that's about, uh, yeah. adoption, okay. and that's the light field. So yeah, you should. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> should really take. It from here, I'm not sure if it goes through the camera, but it's, it also it's includes eye tracking, I think, in this demo, I'm not sure. That's um, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like in a transparent. Did you see any stores that have them? Um, there's a lot of stuff in Korea, actually. Um, it's still, again, you know, very early adoption, so mostly about high-end retail or some museums in Korea, stuff like that, use them. Um, what is this but it's OS? OS means on silicon. That's an OLED device put in directly on silicon. 
and here you see um, you know the display itself is very small and it sits on top of the glasses so it will be over here the display and it will you know shoots the information down and then there are small micro yeah. um, mirrors in there you see the mirror array that beams the display to your eye it's made right. by the company called Latin AR. You stop. Yeah, no, no, continue. No, continue. So, so it's made cool. by a company called Latin AR in Korea, and they're collaborating with nice. LG on this display. So uh, people can read yeah. all this on your website, no? Yeah, please go ahead to oledinfo.com, and yeah. we update daily on OLED news. We also have on micro LEDs. And here we have our, my good friend Shri. Hey, why am I in your video? <laughs> because you're the nicest guy in this industry. Yeah. And <laughs> Cool. Yeah. I think the first right. interview Sharbacks did with me ten years was ago. More than ten years. Twelve years ago. ago. Then twelve years ago. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. So you have the best OLED website, no? Yes. Uh, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We try okay. to do our best. So you're in my video again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. You this were waiting to you? be on a video there, right? Huh? That's no, why you were standing there. I was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is there any of your um, startups, your companies, that have something awesome to show behind the scenes? Because I'm staying two more days before I go to Competex, but they're Taiwan. Not physically, they're I mean, not, they're, they didn't no, come to the show. Maybe here, I didn't meet they, them. They're here. I did not but have something in the backpack that they want to show. <laughs> you know <laughs> that kind of stuff. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't okay. Know. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> yeah? Nice try. Okay. <laughs> in the past, okay. we've done this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure you did. Cool. It's yeah, awesome. He yeah. actually saw certain products before they were even announced. Yeah. Like that. Bunch of more stuff. Why this is smart. Wait and use my link so I can make some money. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use Wise. Wise is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your Wise card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth 8K future with 48 gigabit per second support. And there's the whole um, infrastructure for, for certifying, for testing, for making sure there's no interference with the, with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have. So thanks a lot for watching. Check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account. And there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world. Just use Wise. It's way faster and it's five to 10 times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool. And I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED 
LCD light box ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150 it's crazy and it's really amazing and it's free you can sign up use your android pay your apple pay or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world it's great to pay for stuff right or send some money tiny little fees it's smart check it out can i send you some money i would use wise if i had to send you some money i will not send you some money i'm pretty sure i will not do that but if i did i would use wise it's really amazing you can send money all over the world 150 countries you can send money to india you can send money to the us you can send money to malaysia indonesia korea everywhere and then you get a local bank account it's crazy you get a bank account in the us and europe it's really amazing and the fees are five to ten times cheaper than your bank so use it as a prepaid debit card buy a bunch of stuff on the internet save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies check my video where i explain a bunch of more stuff why this is a smart way and use my link so i can make some money <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use WISE. WISE is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your WISE card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. I don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth 8k future with 48 gigabit per second support and there's the whole um, infrastructure for for certifying for testing for making sure there's no interference with the with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have so thanks a lot for watching check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every Amazon, but I don't That's think right. so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, they said, they, 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 <laughs> when I'm getting texts from people, because I, I keep sending people to you. Nice. I've been subscribing to you for, I've been paying you for five years. Oh, really? I'm still are paying you. The, you. Are you the, Can you the on my member? You yes, yes. I'm a member. member, Lee Machine. Nice. Which one machine? Lee Machine. Ah. Yeah, I want some special content or something. Nice. Go. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to Taiwan in two days. Oh, wow. So maybe yeah, you, you want me to our... film there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Because I'm going to Computex. Oh, okay. You, oh, can, so you, you can visit our team in Taiwan. Engine to work. Can we talk about that? Yeah, yeah. 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 <coughs> How do we do this? Just. <coughs> right. Cool. Where should we start? Uh, I think we can start over there actually. Okay. <coughs> okay. Hi. 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 Uh, middle. In the middle. Yeah. Is it better? Yeah, one second. Okay. And this thing, uh, can you have a signal that's not so strong behind you? Can I uh, just clip it on there? Okay. 
Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to Paratech. And uh, please introduce yourself. So I'm Tong Tongzhu. I'm the CEO and founder of Paratech. We are a UK-based uh, international global company providing micro-LED technologies platforms for everyone, including big di displays and small displays, transparent displays and flexible displays, all the way to head-up displays and AR applications. So we are a global design house uh, for micro-LED solutions worldwide. So this is a flexible 27-inch uh, micro-LED-based uh, technology display uh, using RGB all colors coming from a single material system indium gallium nitride. So you can see the color and image quality coming from a unified material system with high quality, high brightness and resolution as well. Oh, What's the dot pitch happening so, here? So this one is a 1.27 millimeter pitch uh, using TFT backplane. Uh, but uh, RGB pixels coming from uh, a single material system. And here we're looking at a transparent display, 7.5 inch, uh, uh, 34 ppi, uh, full color, using mini LED based on TFT backplane. That you can see the transparency as well as the brightness required for outdoor applications. Uh is this ready for prime time and what's it called like uh, mass production and everything so these are the reference designs uh, open for everyone to uh, have an evaluation uh, so these are open for evaluation and testing so our purpose is to provide the platforms and the supply chain for manufacturing but tailored to customers requirements and system specifications so now we are coming to another booth that we are on Yes, we just won the People's Choice Award for the best, best. micro LED based technology because we have the world's all in one solution. Uh, LED gives all the brightness and the colors. So, here we're looking at a full color resolution and solution for the uh, optical projector system based on three panels, uh, based on uh, three panels coming from a single uh, indium gallium nitride material system. So, the brightness levels can reach 1 million nits. Uh, D65 bright uh, for the uh, outdoor applications, but three panels because of the uh, unified material. Now you can have optical and electrical characteristics all the same. So the power management, power consumption are also unified. Uh, is it possible that your technology would enable my future smartphone to have a really awesome full table touch display? Uh, so we are very open. Projection. Yes, so we are very open in terms of the application areas, but we mostly primarily focusing on AR applications and head-up displays uh, that are less than one inch, and small wearables as well as uh, uh, a large TV and signage applications. But of course, for all kinds of different uh, user cases and application areas, uh, we are very confident micro LED can open up new doors for all kinds of user cases as well. So here we are seeing a wide portfolio of different applications from 0.12 inch monochrome applications with pure red, pure uh, green applications based on indium gallium nitride with high brightness and efficiency uh, that is guaranteed the small form factor uh, required for uh, AR glasses applications that are super duper very tiny and small but right. still brightness in the glass yes the wave guide and everything yes that's correct how, how bright will it get so we have millions of nits for red and blue and green millions yeah right. and these are also 0.26 reference designs and that we are mass producing uh, uh, launching uh, uh, after this event uh, with a single colors blue and green and red also with millions of nits in terms of the brightness uh, but 720p that are, uh, uh, are going to be enabling uh, a wider content providing as well as the field of view for AR applications. And on the top, we are looking at some dynamic pixel tuning, full color resolution, all colors coming from a single panel. Um, so without further complication of the processing manufacturing, we are utilizing one LED that we are able to provide all the colors. One LED. To, all, to do all the colors. Yes, yes. But of course, these are the reference design that we are providing as a platform technology uh, and reference design for everyone to improve and build upon based on their specifications. Um, so we are able to provide all the functionality, but not on the system level, because the system will be tailored to each every single application. But in terms of functionality wise, we are uh, almost there.
So what's the resolution on this 0.2? So 0.2 uh, inch diagonal, we have uh, 720p, uh, 1280 720p, so more than 5600 ppi resolution. That's very high pixel density, no? Yes. Oh. Sorry, I tried to catch it. Oh. It's very difficult to uh, yeah. video and take any photos even. It's so bright. <laughs> my, my sensor is going to survive this? I'm, I'm sure you will, will, will be okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because um, how far are you from mass producing all this? So uh, the uh, mass production of 0.26 is happening uh, currently in Taiwan, uh, uh, which is our branch. So we have an eight inch production line from material all the way to pixel to CMOS and hybrid bonding all the way to wafer level optics, including the light engine assembly. Everything is happening in Taiwan using standardized process flow and standardized reputable suppliers for the man manufacturing. Because we are a uh, design house, basically we have uh, the key technologies and key components and designs that we are utilizing the semiconductor production throughput uh, to make the uh, fabrication on a inch. So everything is happening in Taiwan on a inch. Uh, millions of nits is insane. I was expecting 10,000 would be enough. Somebody's comment. Uh, right, okay. So basically, we are actually providing the sufficient brightness for all kinds of app app applications because every, uh, every uh, process flow that we'll be reducing, including the optics and the light engine assembly, that will be keep cutting down the, uh, uh, the, the nits. Uh, that's essentially we're providing the enough uh, sufficient brightness for all kinds of applications, including outdoor and indoor, and that can be adapted to all kinds of uh, uh, waveguides and uh, especially the diffractive waveguides that's required for the uh, augmented reality. So a higher brightness is necessary, but you don't necessarily have to have those uh, other pixels lighting up all the time. Uh, ask Borotech if we will see their micro LEDs in Vuzix glasses. I would say it's potentially possible. I, I, I wouldn't be able to comment on that, but I, I think we are open and working with everyone in the industry and partners and customers trying to bring those micro LED on the market as soon, as soon as possible. Wondering what company are already using those screens, especially VR and AR market? So uh, obviously we are trying as fast as possible to bring those on the market, but we are in the very closely working relationship with all our partners and customers trying to build uh, prototypes and development kits and uh, uh, all the way uh, to small volume productions as we speak. So hopefully in another six to nine months, there will be some early prototypes and uh, glasses uh, incorporating our products and technology. And you call it DPT? Yes, dynamic pixel tuning. Dynamic. Does that mean that um, when you talk about millions of nits, you can have it as kind of like a, a peak brightness? Yes. Only sometimes? Yes, yes. So For not so long? Uh, well, you don't have to uh, light up all the pixels all the time, consuming a lot of power. So there is a, a lot of uh, flexibility that we are providing for the uh, end user or system designer in terms of uni unifying or utilizing our uh, design and platform technology to be able to have a wider flexibility for the system level optimization. So in terms of you don't necessarily have uh, to have the, all the functionality, but according to the user case and the environment that you're in, you will be much better off in terms of adapting our dynamic pixel tuning technology. And um, is it true, I, I wasn't here at Display Week last year, I wasn't allowed to travel. Right to the US, but uh, is it true you win iZone? Yeah, we won the And now best, you have a huge booth. That's correct. That so, means iZone's work. Well, yes, but also we uh, keep our momentum building up uh, gradually and we are growing internationally as well. So we won the best prototype award last year in the iZone in Display Week. Uh, but this year we just won the People's Choice Award for the best uh, micro LED technology. So that is a, a motivation for us to keep going much quickly and bring this micro LED uh, as a commercial product. So is it automatic that the winner of the iZone gets a big booth next year? Not necessarily, yeah, but we wish to have the best exposure and uh, best uh, uh, working relationship, open our doors, um, open our business, uh, working with everyone. Because obviously we are a small company, we have to have the partnership. So how do you do? Yes, very good. Do you so do okay? Do you understand what we're doing here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? it sounds pretty uh, revolutionary. In the, in the future, is everybody going to have this technology? It's going to be just normal? This is the only way to do it. I hope so, yeah. 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 Stacking three la layers of epi RGB is just not going to work. So give up and come join us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. Thank you, Mike.
So, uh, I, I, did you just say that other people are stacking? Yeah, other people way? are stacking, doing quantum dark color conversion, which will introduce complexity and you losing process steps. So we are using the existing technology and production uh, process flow, but we are innovating on the material level, solving all the problem on the material level, but knowing what we are building and problems are that we are solving, but utilizing the manufacturing uh, that is so standard in the silicon world that will guarantee the economics. Where every, uh, every uh, uh, LED is full color. Potentially. Yes, so in other words, you don't need to know which LED is emitting at what wavelengths before you give it a signal, before you give it a content. So that's how, uh, so uh, that you have a much better off in terms of the system level and uh, calibration of the display when you are doing the calibration step. So that will consume less uh, power and uh, simplifying the processing flow uh, for the manufacturing. So that is unfortunately the only way forward to make micro LED a commercial product. Uh, but you're talking about TV also? Yes, yes. You will make the TV? So, uh, so for the AR and head-up display, obviously we're providing the entire system uh, and uh, display uh, panels as well. But for the uh, large TVM, large panel displays, unfortunately we can't change how the panel makers are uh, doing their process flow, but we are able to provide the best chips for them to make their panels and satisfy their customers. So for this case, we're providing the uh, red, blue and green chips for them to assemble into a panel using whatever TFT or uh, glass-based back 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 uh, backplanes, but we are providing the efficiency benefits and cost benefits. Can you also be the kind of like multicolor, full color backlight for as a mini LED? Mini yes, LED we can. Kind of yes, backlight. We can. Yes. For the LCD? Yes, yeah, that's exactly what we are trying to solve the problem because for some uh, outdoor signage applications, because brightness is uh, the issue, power consumption is the issue, but, but also the viewing angle is the issue. By unifying all the colors in the single chip, that will be simplifying a lot on the optical and the end level system design. So that guarantees the best user experience for whatever application uh, down the road. Because when you talk about the uh, uh, AR, VR stuff, and when you talk about TV, TV, it's different size. Yes. And so it must be different factories. Uh, yes. So for the uh, AR applications, which require CMOS standard application, because we have to use the CMOS backplane, so that we are utilizing an 8-inch production line in Taiwan. For making large TV and large panels, we are working very closely with the panel makers, enabling they have their products and uh, uh, commercialization uh, plans very quickly. So they have their existing uh, so that's how we work with them by selling the best chips it's because they have the backplane they have the mass transfer technology but we're providing the best chips so 10 12 years ago I had the Copen golden eye and oh, wow. there was uh, Google Glass 10 years ago I was so excited but yep. somebody stopped it and then uh, Facebook changed the company to VR yep. uh, the name uh, and and uh, there's a rumor that the Apple company is gonna launch something so it's it's it could be exciting time in the future, right? Yes. yes and you definitely. think you will be busy? Yes, definitely. So we are a true believer of micro-LED. Obviously, micro-LED can be a display component, but we truly believe that every single pixel of those micro-LED can be a display component because they, are, they can be individually controlled and uh, emitting brightness uh, and functionality. But actually, you've got millions of pixels right here on a CMOS chip that can be uh, actually functioning much beyond in terms of functionality, beyond the display component. So How do you compare performance of your transparent compared to transparent OLED? So we are targeting more than 80% transmission using micro LEDs because micro LEDs are semiconductors that are transparent by nature. But we are also working very closely with uh, glass makers and utilizing micro ICs. So that will eliminate a lot of the metal uh, interconnects. So that guarantees more than 80% transmission for future. That's uh, more than the OLED transparency? Yes, much higher than. Uh, much higher? Yeah. So, so the OLED is currently at 40-50% transparency just because of the metal lines. But we can eliminate all of those metal lines simply because micro LED is much smaller but also transparent. And those 20% that you lose, let's say I'm imagining the future Cybertruck, Tesla design, something. Yeah, yeah. And I want to have windows that have a little bit tint when I'm not activating full entertainment yeah. or advertising mode. Yeah. And then boom, it can switch into That's all correct. the windows. Yes are entertaining you all of like uh, you like riding in a VR yes that's correct yeah and especially when every single pixel can be uh, dynamically controlled so you can have the information and content whichever and wherever you want on the on the, uh, on the on the panel you don't necessarily have to 
because obviously you still have to interact with the environment. So what I can see in the future in terms of autonomous driving, you can not only entertain yourself, but also you can interact with the outside world through that uh, magic uh, and digital uh, uh, windscreen uh, in front of you as well. Uh, one thing that would be awesome is if you help also make it affordable to billions of people, not just people who are very rich, because uh -huh. I don't know how much the Apple VR is going to cost, but uh, it'd be nice if there was some technology that was affordable to everybody. Absolutely. So that's how I, that, that's why we are uh, insisting on making micro-related happening in the silicon uh, manufacturing mindset and establishment, because we're utilizing existing capacity, existing uh, throughput and processing flow. There's no in introduction and additional funding required for the manufacturing setup. So we are f using fully depreciated uh, uh, and legacy technology for the manufacturing that is guarantee uh, the economics and cost reduction uh, for this micro LED adoption in the future. That brightness will be great for pancake lenses. Yes, it is uh, going to be working with all kinds of optical designs. So the idea is we're providing all kinds of the, uh, the brightness and the efficiency and performance uh, that's needed for all kinds of the user cases and the specifications. So whether it's AR, VR, XR or head-up display, whether it's commercial co uh, consumer enterprise application, we have all the solution ready. I've heard of uh, amazing display technologies before where they said, ah, we are able to do something that can just do a small change in the LCD, huge LCD factories, and maybe they can make them. Yep. Sometimes it's a great promise, but still a small change is still something that scares the $5 billion investment yes. or whatever is behind. Yes. Yeah. Can you promise that the changes you're talking about make sense, it's not so expensive? Or yes, so it's not just the promise, it's actually the action that we're taking. Uh, in real life, uh, in terms of working with panel makers, utilizing their legacy technology, but also working very closely with silicon foundries and legacy technology uh, production lines for the manufacturing. So it's not just that we are providing the technology platform, but we're actually taking every step to guarantee the manufacturability and cost basis that's uh, going to be affordable for everyone in the future. And uh, all these problems that some technologies have with burn-in, it's not with the micro LED. It's not. A, it's a semiconductor device. When it's off, it's off, and it's guaranteed to be a transparent. So you don't have to fake the, uh, the, the transparency as well as you don't fake. You don't, you don't have to fake the uh, black. So when it's off, it's a semiconductor device. It's off. You don't consume any power and electricity. So that's uh, the nature of the semiconductor device. That is uh, guaranteed the differentiation between OLED and our technology. Are there are there a bunch of optical tricks you can do to not require perfect yields? and still yes. sell yes. everything, yes. even there's a few dots. Exactly. So and people will not see them somehow? Yes. So there is many different ways that you can improve in yield for, to have full nice, five nice, but we propose that you don't have to do that because you can make micro LEDs much smaller but still benefit the efficiency and brightness. When the pixels are getting smaller and the PPIs are much higher, so we can be uh, more tolerant with the uh, uh, yield. Uh, so when uh, there are uh, dead pixels or dead uh, dyes uh, that you can forget about them, you don't have to uh, uh, the visibility. But in the meantime, we can make redundancies when the pixels are getting smaller. So you can redound them, uh, redound them, them using software update. So that's a much uh, uh, similar mindset and philosophy that we are using in the CMOS industry. And uh, you are Taiwan? Company. We are based in the UK. We are a UK entity, but we have a UK branch. Uh, uh, we, have, we have a Taiwan branch. Taiwan branch. Yeah. And, and but you want to work with everybody in the world? Yes, exactly. So we are Doesn't international. If it's uh, in Europe, in the US, yes. in Asia. So everywhere. exactly. So we have a, a global supply chain for all kinds of customers and uh, different applications. We have a, a UK, Europe, and US supply chain to be able to work with the uh, that side of the continent. But we also have a Taiwan supply chain working with the Asian customer uh, and manufacturing base as well. So you could work with the uh, fabs that are anywhere. Yes, exactly. And there we are some are. nice display fabs in the US. Yes, yes. We are working with everyone. And we are talking to all kinds of different partnerships uh, that can guarantee uh, our customers will have their products, uh, not just in the prototyping phase, but also in the mass production phase. And uh, the, another little question is, you know, I'm just a YouTuber, but often I'm like, ah, how soon? And, how, and sometimes it takes many years and I grow older and stuff. Uh, <laughs> it, it'd be nice to, how, how soon? How soon is it like people will go and buy it and it's not expensive and they can just buy it? Yes, so uh, you, can, you can see uh, the trajectory that we as a company have been growing over the last three years. So we are very young. So 
Uh, although obviously the frustration people have been uh, enjoyed about the Mercury Elite Promise over the last eight, seven years, uh, uh, I do get the feeling of that. But because we are here, we are very innovative in the material and um, uh, the way that we are doing the manufacturing. So we can be quite positive and uh, I think we can bring some fresh air into the industry that Mercury LED is coming. Uh, although I can't give you a, a definite timeline for that, but I think it's going to be happening very, very soon. Uh, I hope in the next 12 to 18 months, hopefully. Uh, some products will be landing on the market with consumer uh, uh, testing and uh, buying and testing them out there in the field. Thank you. Cool. Did you give me your card before? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, if I can have, it would be great. Yeah. 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 Thanks a lot. Yeah. This is me? Yeah. So I'll thank you, you very much. Uh, question later about yeah. filming. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Cool. Yeah, let me know if and you need anything. Uh, uh, the office in the UK, where is it? So in, say, Cimbridge. Cambridge. Yeah. Okay. So yes, we let spun me check with the, if you, um, okay, I'll, I'll contact you about yeah. filming, because I'm not far from the UK also, if oh, you want really? me to film there. Oh, I mean, I'm in Switzerland. Oh, I live right. In Switzerland. right. I didn't know that. So it's oh. very easy to yeah, 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 easy yeah. jet. Well, whenever you come to the UK, do ask, no, and yeah. uh, feel free to uh, uh, come to Cambridge cool. near our facility. Okay, yeah. thanks cool. a lot. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. See you. Yeah. Thank, See you. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, thanks. Oh, did I get the... Yeah, I got the mic. Uh, let me check. What time is it? 1.15? No, not yet. Okay. So I have 15 minutes to see if email looks is available. Oh. Hey. Oh, hi, how are you? Can you hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the person leave now. Leave where? Yeah, do you have the a bathroom and back? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, not, oh disappear, yeah. already go yeah. home. No, no, not, 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 not go ah, home. Ah, not go home. He just uh, to browse the other. Ah, uh, so let's find that, um, I will, I will, before it's closed down, what time it will close? Two. Two. Yeah. So what Maybe you can to take a picture here if you want to sound. Actually, you know. Yeah, you would speak. You want your friend to speak, right? I just uh, to speak a very <laughs> okay. Uh, not, not a detail. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's the name of your colleague? Brad, right? Okay. sound. Damn, you've been dangling the microphone. It's not the highest production uh, live stream. All right. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Hey. So, uh, you want to you, you introduce or we, uh, uh, you talk. we introduce? Yeah. Okay, uh, pick up some, some products for you. Uh, Anything you want, as much you want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it any chance one person can introduce everything shortly? No, maybe not. Just a briefly. Uh, Nobody know a, a little bit about everything. Everything. You you can everything. do it. No. Uh, no, not me. No. Somebody, yeah. Uh, 
Ja. Okay. We're in the last hour of the show. Of the automotive, uh, yeah. is that it's gone already? Right now. So, um, and uh, maybe it's lunchtime, so late. Ah, they will be back maybe? Yeah, maybe, maybe because it's yeah. only it's closed at 2 p.m., right? Yes, it's very yes, soon, yes, one yes, hour. Let, let, let we, let I come back, come back. Wait, I come back in like half an hour. I try, okay? Yeah, maybe half okay. an hour. Half an hour, I'll be back. Thank, okay, you. thank you. This is me, just in case. Know, you have, okay, see you later. Okay, so. Uh, you are getting some sound on there at 5 megabit per second. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Hey. Pretty good. Cool. Is opening the window of the new era. Through it. Hey, hey, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, uh, Bob just stepped away from. The, uh, yeah, he'll be right back in a few minutes. Nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we can do it yep. before it's closed. Yes. Yeah. Ah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. How, how's the rest of your show been? Awesome. Yeah. So it, you said 1:15. Yeah. What time is now? Am Four I? o'clock. I'm a little bit early, right? Yeah. If you want to kill time. I come ten else? minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, okay. So Bob had a just bathroom, whatever. We'll, okay. We'll be here. Okay. Yep. See you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, are you with there? Can I do a video with somebody at the booth? Oh, Who yeah. would uh, interview? Uh, Who's a good? Yeah, YouTube guy. Sorry. <laughs> you can do it. No, no, I can't. I don't no? Know, no, no. You don't know everything? No. No? Yeah, sorry. Who's the right person to talk a little bit about some things? Uh, I, the main guy is gone. Ah, so. but there must be somebody else, maybe. Who, just uh, highlights. So, show. Do you have? Do you know a colleague who will be good for that? Sorry. You don't think so? Yeah. Okay, so too bad. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, thanks. Okay, we cannot do here at Nagazi. Uh, let's see what I forgot to do here. Can do an interview? Yeah? You want to speak? Uh, this is my YouTube channel. I have like lots of on the display week stuff. Yeah? Let me give you a microphone. Dang. 
Okay, you will speak, yeah? So this is, uh, if you can find a way to have it in the middle there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, if you can. Okay. This, uh, no, this, uh, if you can have it. Yeah, if you can hold it kind of like this to have a good signal. Okay. okay. Let me try just one of my headphones. All right. Hi. Hey. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Joe Hill. I'm a director of business development at Leia Inc. We are actually a spin out of HP Labs. Originally making our debut at Display Week a while back. I'm not sure the exact year. But this is our multi year at, at Display Week. We're showing our Loompad 2 fresh off. You, you've, uh, you've been uh, shipping your technology in a uh, few products for a few years already, right? Yep. Uh, you know, we first hit the cover of Nature in 2013 and then had productized a, a phone with the red hydrogen and then a Loompad 2 in uh, first tablet. And then we are showcasing our Loompad 2 here. It was kind of like a holographic phones. Yep. So we you do holographs. Yeah, we make a 3D backlight technology called Diffractive Light Field Backlight, DLB layer. So essentially you see the retina level 2D, we can jump in here and get a 3D object visualized in 3D. Oh, wow. So it works on any angle? Is there any light fields happening here? Yeah, so essentially we, are, we nano imprint on a thin piece of glass underneath the LCD that's guiding a left and a right view per pixel to your eye. For every angle? Every angle. But does it divide the 2K something resolution screen into much lower to each? So think about it, it's divided by the square root of the number of views. And that's why we've moved from passive to track stereo. And so that's two views. So here's another one that's good to see. This is a unity based uh, game. So you can actually pick up a lot of the parallax. So I'm going to ask you to move left and right called the light field oh, wow. dance. You this see a lot awesome. of Yeah, exactly. Oh, so this looks amazing. Next thing I want to show you is I'm going to hide this guy right behind the wall and I want you to look and find him. Now you can look oh, wow. over the wall. So you are looking at me and so you are we're tracking just my eyes? Tracking just the bridge of your nose, giving nose, you the best, of, the best left and right view. And so, yeah, based on the, the camera FOV, that'll track you, you know, 86 That's degrees. That's so much fun. Yeah. Uh, is it affordable? Yeah, so it's on uh, Leia Ink 2. Uh, we did have a show special here. It's a. a it's finished this, the special. You had it here. I saw. Yeah, it should be. It was a good price. Um, that's like the there price was a kit. QR code and people could get a discount. Yeah. So here you go. So. Right. That's and valid to today, I guess. Um, but yeah, the retail price was eleven hundred bucks, and then there's some deals there. So. All right. Is there any chance this could be? Um, even more affordable? Is it expensive technology or? Uh, we're, we're getting it more and more improved. I think, you know, especially getting the more resolution and improving our display technologies. Um, the, the cost is going down, the resolution is going up, and uh, yeah, the latency is going down. So we're approaching any, uh, you know, points of friction and removing them. Is it Princess Leia? So inspired by, yeah. The, you My know. sister's Leia. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, nice. so how did it, improve since the uh, the hi hydrogen, that, that phone you're talking about. Yeah, so that's How did the technology Im improve since then? So we moved to track stereo, so that means we are giving you two active left and right views at one time versus that was a four by four, so there's some degradation in the 3D mode and so it's lower res, but it was passive, so then more, a group of people can see it. Here you can see the best, uh, most optimal amount of resolution. One person at a time. One person, for at least for, uh, you know, 2.5K panel, you know, if you're going up to 4K and above, like then there's a lot more pixels to send out to folks. Um, yeah, you, if you just talk with some of the panel makers, maybe they give you an 8K panel, yep. and then you can play with that. And you can do stuff with that. Sure, yeah. And how does it work that it's on the backlight? So essentially there's, it's the LCD, we have our DLB layer, and then we have the 2D backlight and then the SOC. So we basically switch between the 2D and 3D depending on the application. And so we are guiding the light uh, much more intentionally than a 2D backlight and giving you that left and right view. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I have a press kit. This is me. Okay, I'll cool. I'll send you the video. Okay. Cool. cool. Thanks a lot. That's awesome.
you want a Snickers or? Yeah. I'll give it to my sister. There you go. She'll be like, oh, oh yeah, cool. true. <laughs> but she doesn't spell exactly like that. She's just Leia. Okay. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, take care. I always wanted to take a video with Leia and now I got it, it's cool. Uh, where is Kenma? Oh, I need to connect this to the power. Yeah, I'll just uh, connect one power bank. Good. I'll just be ready. Yeah. He's with the customer, so. Okay. Right here. Okay, guys. Uh, I'll put you in a little ad break, and then I'll be right back in four minutes. To the shop. Boom shakalaka, you can use your Android phone to do the payment. You can use your Apple Pay to do every payment. And here, because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you wanna pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid, Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account. And there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. When you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world, just use Wise. It's way faster and it's five to 10 times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool. And I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box, ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150, it's crazy. And it's really amazing and it's free. You can sign up, use your Android Pay, your Apple Pay, or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world. It's great to pay for stuff, right? Or send some money, tiny little fees, it's smart. Check it out. Can I send you some money? I would use WISE if I had to send you some money. I will not send you some money. I'm pretty sure I will not do that. But if I did, I would use WISE. It's really amazing. You can send money all over the world, 150 countries. You can send money to India. You can send money to the US. You can send money to Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, everywhere. And then you get a local bank account. It's crazy. You get a bank account in the US and Europe. It's really amazing. And the fees are five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. So use it as a prepaid debit card. Buy a bunch of stuff on the internet. Save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies. Check my video where I explain a bunch of more stuff. Why this is a smart way. And use my link so I can make some money. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use WISE. WISE is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your WISE card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. 
Just use a wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth 8K future with 48 gigabit per second support and there's the whole um, infrastructure for for certifying for testing for making sure there's no interference with the with the as well as professionals mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where everybody says I want that right so you'll cut and paste whatever makes sense right if you want but I like to do as one clip one clip but, uh, we'll try Hmm. Yeah, maybe start with that for the pop. Yeah. <clears throat> well, he wants to do them all, so. Uh, up to you. Yeah. You, you can uh, maybe you can start with something that's really awesome, great, and then after we go to everything, or maybe uh -huh. we can. Yeah, let's do you start. Have one of these that's in your hand. Um, we can do the micro LED. You can do these, which are, you know, big wow factor, right? Yeah. Is there any chance? You know? Is there any chance for a video? Um, maybe you can help us just with a video if you're able to yep. lift yeah, up yeah, this we, glass. We we, we can I we can. Super close with my camera. Yeah, we can remove yeah, these. Just, yeah, just on these, not on everything. Just uh, in the beginning of the yeah. video. Yeah. <clears throat> right. And when we're done, put it back on. Sure. Okay. Cool. Actually, it'd be better if it was more down here. I okay. think for you. Okay. Uh, and let's take this off too. <clears throat> now let's make sure nobody walks on it because yeah. it's hard to see it. Yeah. Here we go. So any any introduction or let's just start talking about the displays. Yeah, we'll try. Uh, we can say hi. My name is yeah Kalman from Art from Tm. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Hi, my name is Bob Dunhouse. I'm coming to you from the Tianma booth here at SID 2023. Uh, first display I'd like to show you is a micro LED transparent display. So. Uh, this is in your new display area? That's correct, the new technology display area. And how's the performance? Uh, transmissivity is very good. It's 70% it's, uh, transmissive with a low reflection ratio of about 10%. All right, so this is going to be in all the future self-driving cars on the windows and everything? Uh, that's one potential. Yes, one potential. Anywhere where there's glass, I believe that, you know, it, it could be applicable. In every home? Could every be. Every window? Yeah, I mean, there's there's many ways to uh, to implement it. This is this, a micro LED? Yeah, this is another micro LED display, uh, very similar to the one we just looked at. However, it has a, it has a regular liquid crystal uh, display um, laminated to the back of it. And what we're able to do is control the, the transparency of the display, actively control the transparency of the display. So it can vary at anywhere from one-tenth of a percent transmissive all the way up to 24%. And does this demo show the, all the modes? Uh, it does. We'll have to uh, actively switch them. Let's see, I don't know. This right. is not the uh, image to look at. Right, and it goes through transparent mode also. Yes. So here, you see how it, it darkened? Now, so we're at one tenth of a percent transparency, and and now I'll lighten it. Now you can see inside. Now we're at twenty four percent transparency. Nice. Yeah. Is it uh, some kind of a uh, electro fluidic? No, actually, Glass? It, it is a, it's a standard liquid crystal display that's laminated to the back 
of a micro LED display. All right. No well, color filter on that particular yeah. backplane. Though. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's been a busy display week? It's been very busy actually and uh, very popular. This, now we're in the, uh, also in the new technology area, and this is flexible active matrix OLED displays. The display that you're looking at currently is what we call a trifold or a Z-fold, and it's exhibiting both an inner and outer fold. The idea behind that would be a foldable tablet, as an example. The display you're looking at currently is a 6.67 inch inner fold display. We can do an inner fold radius of about uh, two millimeters. All right. And is it, um, is your audio foldable displays mass production, the, shipping? Yeah, they, they aren't. Uh, again, this is the new technology area. So they're, they're demonstration. So it's for soon? That technology is out there now. All right. Yes, yes. All right. You want to move over? This is the consumer yeah. space. <clears throat> and this is an, uh, two OLED displays side by side. As you can see, they're equal in, in image quality. The difference is, is this uses our CFOT technology, our color film on the TFT layer. Uh, what that enables us to do is remove the outer polarizer when doing so that, that uh, we're able to reduce the power consumption roughly 30%. Makes it more power efficient. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. It is, it is. All right. Uh, the next is a 6.81, um, um, uh, what they call it, a quad curve display, and that means that all of the edges are actually curved. So this could help to have a <clears throat> bezel-less kind of it's, it's design? It's aesthetics, basically, aesthetics. aesthetics. This is um, um, a 6.497 inch, we call privacy display. So the display on the display on the left is your normal display in LTPS, and this is the privacy switching feature. So if you look off angle, you see I can change You can change the privacy Privacy, level? yes, that's correct. So we limit the horizontal viewing angle. All right. This is, a, uh, this is a touch embedded display. It actually has an active pen uh, sensor uh, embedded in the, uh, the uh, glass assembly itself. <clears throat> this is just a demonstration of a fast refresh display. This usage would be for like handheld gaming where they need, you know, immediate response in, in displays. It's demonstrating 60 versus 180 hertz. Nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is a, a low temperature polysilicon displays, but you're always looking to get the, the thinnest border you possibly can. This is just demonstrating the reduction in the down border. Uh, roughly a reduction of about a half a millimeter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now we're in the consumer space. This is a 13.3 inch, it's a, a 2.8K, fast frame rate, 120 hertz, uh, touch embedded display, so it's not, a, it's not an add-on PCAP sensor, it's actually embedded in the TFT cell itself. Uh, tablet would be a typical application. So it's not capacitive? The, the touch function. It's PCAP. It is PCAP. Yeah, PCAP. projected capacitive. Yeah, but it's it's in cell, not on cell. <clears throat> so it makes it thinner. This is a very fast frame rate uh, demonstration. Uh, very high um, uh, frame rate, 480 hertz. So typically, liquid crystal displays refresh at a 60 hertz rate. This is 480 hertz. And again, we're in a consumer space. <clears throat> this is a 16 inch, it's high resolution 3K by 2K. It uses a mini LED backplane for high dynamic contrast. And it has uh, 2000 dimming zones in the back. This is a 1.5 inch flexible AM OLED display on a flexible substrate. 
and that would be uh, used for complex shapes. This is a free form, it's round. Um, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So what are we checking next? Well, why don't we go over to the uh, medical diagnostic monitors. Then. <clears throat> right. So with these two displays, Tiema has always been very, um, very involved in the medical space, especially for medical diagnostic imaging. The display you're looking at right here is a 30.9 inch 12 meg color display. And in reference to that, I want to show the panel to the right, which is a 21.3 5 meg color. Now we're only showing black and white here, but it is a true color display. This is normally used, this is a standard in the uh, medical imaging uh, x-ray uh, um, uh, diagnostic field. But if you notice, this particular size, which is a standard, uh, typically you would have a radiologist that would have two of these side by side. The problem is, is because there's two different panels side by side, is they could be slightly different in color temperature, in color reproduction, and that's very critical in, in imaging like this. Therefore, if you, if you follow this and you take this over, you will notice that this single panel is actually two of the displays. Now what that does is that it makes sure that, that the color performance from two AB comparison um, displays is equal. This is also a 10-bit driver, so color res resolution is very, very uh, finite. And it uses a uh, photo alignment to make sure that black levels and uniformity across the entire surface are very uniform. When you have the, uh, the perfect <clears throat> solution there, uh, then you have three or four million doctors in the world, physicians, uh, what's it called, surgeons, yeah. they'll want to have it. Yeah, I mean, I think um, the, the whole, the whole X-ray imaging world is transitioned from film base to digital base for, for lots of reasons. You know, storage capacity would be one. Um, the next is uh, another one of our strengths, which is um, applications in the marine market. <clears throat> this particular display is a 20.8 inch. It's 4K by 2K in resolution. It's a very, very bright display, <clears throat> excuse me, at 1400 nits. So in the marine environment, it's very important to select uh, the materials that you use. So we use, we use outer polarizers and liquid crystal material that can withstand high UV exposure. Because uh, typical, if you use just standard polarizers, they would, they would weather, they would yellow over time. So this particular display is ruggedized for the marine environment. Next display is, we call this our invisible technology. Uh, <clears throat> and, and we're developing, this is a film-based um, pattern on the outside. We're developing these four films, silver all the way up to red oak. And really what it allows it to do, this is more for aesthetics of design. So if you can turn off the display, the display disappears. So there could be some um, aesthetic designs that they, you don't want to see that there's a display available until you, until you actually want to use it. Nice. So you can see here, it disappears, but yet there's still a touch function. Nice. Mm -hmm. It makes it uh, attractive for people to go and touch and play with devices and smart home controls yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's an, it's an aesthetic design consideration. And they are thinking about that in the automotive space, which we'll get to in a bit. <clears throat> another, another one of our, our uh, strengths is in, in the industrial space <clears throat> is high shock and vibe displays. This particular freeform display, circular display, is capable of withstanding 10 G's of shock, which is very, very high shock. That can be used in things like tractors, uh, earth movers, uh, any place where you have real high shock and vibration environment. The next three displays are, again, we're in the industrial space. <clears throat> These are typically more um, um, custom-made products. 
Each one of them has what we call our TED technology, which is touch embedded display. That means the PCAP sensor itself, the touch sensor itself, is embedded in the TFT cell. It allows it to be very, very thin. Same is true here. And a little bit larger in size, same is true here. Right. This is our latest generation of wet and glove technology. And uh, those that are familiar with uh, PCAP sensing know that for outdoor use where there's exposure to water, false touch becomes an issue. Uh, this, this is demonstrating that the touch functions are working properly, even with water dropping on it. You see we mentor lots of water drops on here, but everything is functioning correctly. Works with gloves too. <clears throat> This just demonstrates our ability for PCAP integration. This is a very large 27 inch full HD display. Uh, it has an external PCAP sensor, as you can see here. <clears throat> so Tianwe is capable of doing a 30 inch PCAP sensor on a very large display up to 30 inch. And soon we'll be able to go to 32 inches. Uh, we also do the custom cover glass you see there. All of this is direct bonded at our factory, OCR bonding, wet bonding. It's good. <clears throat> you do a lot of uh, big touch screens? Um, we are doing a lot of touch screens. Um, not quite that large yet, but I, again, we're showing that we have the ability to do that. Uh, it just depends upon the customer demand. <clears throat> So the next three displays that we'll be looking at here is um, as our company has progressed, we had two product ranges. We had what we call our TM product range and our NL product range. Now we're standardizing um, on all of our, on our product range. It's called our P-series product range. And displays in that product range will be available in three different, three different uh, flavors, if you want to call it that. One is entry, the next is basic, and followed by advanced. So what you get as you step up in range is you get um, higher brightness, more rugged, more contrast, more backlight life, um, uh, things like that. Um, the other thing that we've, that we've done is we decided to standardize on wide viewing angle technology. It's uh, our SFT technology, and that will be throughout the range. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Leveraging off, off of our uh, production technologies is the possibility of moving into different product ranges. The first one that, that you're viewing right now is called a, a microfluidic chip. And in essence, what it allows is, um, rather than a human picking up a, a, a sample a uh, liquid sample and moving it from location to location, you place it on the surface and by computer control can move that fluid sample. So basically what it aids in is an automated way to move a fluid sample from test station to test station, so higher throughput. This is a, this is, um, a glass based uh, uh, chip technology, chip bonding technology. Uh, so you, as you can see here, it starts with the substrate with the chip. This is actually a CMOS sensor. Um, it is separated. It's moved to a circuit board and finally to a camera module. So it's a CMOS camera module. Um, this is a phased array liquid crystal antenna. And this would be typically used for uh, reception of a commercial satellite. It's not for home use, it's not for consumer use, it's for commercial Starlink? Purposes. Starlink would be a perfect example. Does that mean you're using the LCD factory to make an antenna? Yes, absolutely. I mean, these are the things, you know, we're just leveraging off of, of what we already have in-house and, and looking to expand ideas on, on How good is a LCD antenna, liquid crystal antenna, compared oh. to old-fashioned antenna? Yeah. Um, 
I don't know the exact answer to that question. Uh, it's supposed to be good, I'm told, <laughs> but that's all I know. <clears throat> We're now moving into the automotive space. And this is, this is an 11.6 inch, it's called camera under display. So what we've done is we've integrated an infrared camera in the lower part of the display. Yeah. So <clears throat> part of a very hot topic these days is driver distraction. So the idea with this particular technology display is it will auto recognize. You see how it recognizes my face right now? Mm -hmm. Now, let's take it one step further. Let me take my cell phone out. You see how it recognizes the phone? And now it's giving me a warning. Nice. Don't use your phone while driving. Sure. So it's a biofeedback for safety purposes in the automotive world. And it can be many other things. That's just, it's just for a technology demonstration. You have a big presence in the <clears throat> automotive? Yes, actually, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really hot area for us right now. We're one of the top suppliers to the automotive. All over the world? Yes. For every continent yeah. of uh, car makers. <clears throat> and uh, there's so many innovation happening with the electric cars. And yes. you have to supply what they want for two, three years in the future. Yes, and, and again, this whole automotive space is uh, really an exploding area for us that um, we've, we've jumped near the top. This is a, this is a, a haptic feedback. You see here when I touch it, it gives, it gives both optical and physical feedback. Nice. Uh -huh. That's just feather touch, and then this, you can vary the strength of the feedback itself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you got the People's Choice Award. That's correct, that's correct. So the um, display that I showed earlier this is based off the same technology. So we call our invisible display. In this particular case, it's a curved display. And um, let me show you here. <clears throat> so the idea again is I think all of the interior designers for automobiles are looking for that, that next design element. And part of that is, you know, making the, the active displays go away and making more of a cosmetic attraction. Uh, what we've added in this particular technology display is a privacy filter on the right-hand side. So, as I said earlier, driver distraction, I think, will be a, a key point going forward. You can turn it on and off? Yes. So, if you look from this side as if you were a driver, I can change the privacy of just this part. You have to look at it from an off angle, this angle. All right. Nice. Okay. Off. On. Yeah. Nice. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So that that won the People's Choice of Awards. It's very nice. Very nice. It could be automatic when the car drives. Could be. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's many ways to implement it. That's just one. This is 17.3 inch. It's a uh, LTPS display, also with touch embedded. It's uh, the PCAP sensor is embedded in the TFT cell itself. Um, very high uh, contrast ratio, 1500 to one. 10 point touch. Um, high color g gamut of uh, 80%, yeah, 80. Uh, next display is uh, what we call our 15.46. Uh, it's an LTPS display, but it's T-shaped. And typically the way you would do that is you would combine two different displays, one here and one here, with, a, with just a common cover glass. In this particular case, it's one display. It also has touch embedded in it and very thin frame perimeters. So we're, we're thinking in terms of freeform shapes for, you know, new interior design. And you have a few years of experience doing freeform. Oh yes, we've been doing it actually for quite a few years now. Yeah, yeah, circular, uh, many different shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, the next is a 15.6 inch, it's very high resolution, 4K by 2K, 3840 by 2160. Also very high contrast ratio, 1200 to 1. Uh, that could be the main display in a self-driving car or one of these could electric be. cars. Could be. I mean, it's very high resolution and they're kind of debating right now how much resolution do you need? 
I mean, for um, maybe passenger entertainment where you're looking at a movie or something like that, you would prefer that type of resolution. Driver doesn't necessarily need if, that high. If I can choose an Uber <clears throat> with a 4K display and a back seat, uh -huh. I'll choose that option. Right? Yes, of course. It would be fun to, fun to see. Um, this is a this is a 9.94 and it's a multi-fold uh, OLED display. And so we're 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 trying to bring OLED into the automotive market. Uh, there there have been challenges with you know temperature, but uh, we believe we can bring OLED into the automotive market. This is 12.3 uh, inch. It's called Accurus, which is an advanced contrast ratio. It's a dual cell display. So there are, there, are, there are two cells that are bonded together. One has color content, the other is just basically grayscale. And by, by doing that, by, by varying the, the grayscale portion of that, you can get high contrast ratio. That's really what you're trying to achieve. This is a, this is a different way of achieving something that's very high contrast ratio and, and very much the buzzword these days. It is an active matrix mini LED backplane. But this particular one is chip on glass driver. Uh, it is mini LED on glass substrate, an LTPS glass substrate. The advantage of that is, is you can reduce the driver count as opposed to the other way of doing it, which is on a circuit board, which requires more drivers, up to like 10 drivers to do that. So very dynamic display. All right. Hmm? Nice. That's it. That's I awesome. Show yeah. The, uh, so the uh, yeah. We could show this also. Yeah. We'll have to come in here. Right. Oh, quiet area. At Display Week, I've never experienced it before. Yes, it needs to be. So, <clears throat> what this combines is it combines not only a privacy filter, but it it pr it. It provides um, the front surface of the display, or the display itself uh, vibrates to produce sound. And it's very, very directional. So again, driver distraction. If, if uh, you would want to create a sound field that's very, very directional, so only the passenger can hear it and the driver is not distracted. Is it active now? You can? Yes. You have to stand about right here. <clears throat> All right. Listen carefully. There. All right, I hear. Yeah, I just need to position myself exactly in the right place. Yes, it's very right. directional, as I said. Nice. Uh -huh. <coughs> so that's for the Uber driver who loves music and the passengers <laughs> wants quiet. Yeah. yeah. All right. <coughs> so it's been a great show. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you came by. And, uh, uh, Lots of people, it's back to normal, right? Um, it's like as normal as it can be, yes. And uh, here at the front, there was this one. Uh -huh. It's also... <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's, a, it's another automotive uh, demonstration. I think yeah. we can come in this one, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So as many people have already experienced, uh, very wide format displays are, are becoming very common in the automotive world. This was uh, an example of an aesthetic design that appears to be all wood, and it, it makes the display disappear. Nice. But if you touch it, you see now the display comes alive. All right. Your mm -hmm. car is saying hello. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And you can see the information on it now. All right. Thanks a lot for oh, showing everything welcome. at your booth. Yeah. Glad you came by. Cool. We did That's awesome. One, we Thank did you for we shot, just managed huh? yeah. before the end of the show. Yeah, we did in one shot. That's nice. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think hopefully we can get. I'm counting on you to get more views than I, I, compared to the previous. Was it 2018 or 17? Uh, about four years ago, I think. Yeah. Four years ago. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. So I think uh, that'll catch their attention starting yeah. there, and then I think we have a lot of good content nice. after that. Nice. Good. Can I have the? Uh, can I have your contact? Yeah, absolutely. I have absolutely. you, right? And you also yeah. probably want this as well. I think we are chatting on, is it? WeChat. WeChat. Uh, uh, WhatsApp. Fight. WhatsApp. Yeah. yeah. And I think nice. you want that too, right? Yeah. <laughs> where, where are you based? Uh, San Jose. San Jose. Okay. Can I have your, you have a, yeah, yeah I'll give you this. Cool. Thank you so much. Cool. Okay. Cool.
Cool. Thanks so much. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Keep me awesome. Yeah. 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 Let me know when things go up. Take a Thanks look. a lot. Right. That's awesome. Thank so you. it was actually live streaming, but uh, mm. the live stream and Bluetooth and stuff that people have. So thanks a lot for watching. Check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid visa debit card right so you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account and there's zero fees the fees are so tiny it's like five to ten times cheaper than your bank don't use paypal anymore don't use western union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world just use wise it's way faster and it's five to ten times cheaper so really check it out it's cool and i appreciate if you use my link below thanks for watching Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box, ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150 it's crazy and it's really amazing and it's free you can sign up use your android pay your apple pay or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world it's great to pay for stuff right or send some money tiny little fees it's smart check it out can i send you some money i would use wise if i had to send you some money i will not send you some money i'm pretty sure i will not do that but if i did i would use wise it's really amazing you can send money all over the world 150 countries you can send money to india you can send money to the us you can send money to malaysia indonesia korea everywhere and then you get a local bank account it's crazy you get a bank account in the us and europe it's really amazing and the fees are five to ten times cheaper than your bank so use it as a prepaid debit card buy a bunch of stuff on the internet save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies check my video where i explain a bunch of more stuff why this is smart wait and use my link so i can make some money <laughs> hello i'm mr yeah you can all be in the video behind you can okay. say hello. You can just say hello. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, one second. Okay. okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. Please introduce yourself. Okay, we are from Koga Touch. We are specializing in touching screens, just as you can see. It's a big touch? Yes, for large size touch screen. So what is the technology here? Uh, we use optical touch. Uh, you can see the camera is in the top two sides. All right, there's a camera Yes. in the corner and it's there and there and it's IR or what's happening? Optical. It's optical. Optical touch. And it's covered the whole area? Yes. And you can show? Yes, you can see. So it's high performance? Uh, yes. Sorry, I need to, to exist. All right. See, this is screen. And this is just a Windows computer behind? Yes. We have an OPS. In the screen or you just uh, connect? Behind, just behind the screen, we have a computer. And this is affordable price? Yes. How good price? Uh, I think uh, it's uh, 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 five or six hundreds. For the whole system, including uh, the, t the screen, yes. not only the touch? L less than one, one thousand, I think. Less than one thousand for the whole solution? Yes. That's great. What's happening here? What uh, do we see there? This is uh, infrared touch and the uh, pick up touch monitors. Okay. Yeah, I will go this. there. You want to be? I will go there. Okay, yeah. let me get, oh, <laughs> maybe here. Let me give you yeah. a mic. 
Ah. I just need to yeah? grab the mic. Oh, okay. I'll edit it. Don't worry. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we do infrared touches and PCAP touch monitors here. Yeah, and this one is especially for gambling machines because you can see there's lights going around and it looks cool. All right, it's capacitive. <clears throat> yeah, this one is capacitive, but mostly we are doing infrared here. Yeah, so it's like uh, an infrared frame. Also this all infrared? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do from five inch to up to 40, 400 inch. All right. Yeah. And big one. Yeah, big one. And we also do curves, you can see in this video. Oh, this is real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something. It looks like a video game, but it was real? It's real. real. Person, real it's real person and real products. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a curved glass right. and we are using. Is it, are you from Beijing? Yeah, we are from Beijing. And this part, we are IR Touch. Our, pro, our company is called IR Touch, so we focus on the infrared. Uh, and this. Yeah, we are sister companies. We belong to the same group. In the, both in Beijing. Yeah, yeah. We we have the same same place in the same building. Nice. <laughs> and here is uh, <clears throat> it's also but explaining what you showed before, huh? The optical touch solution. So you do optical touch, IR touch, capacitive touch. Yes. yes. Resistive touch. No resistive. No more other touch. Only no three. More. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Shishi. Thank, thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. Just okay. take it. so much. Let me give you my card. Hi. Did I give you my card already? Oh, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Oh, my wife will love this. <laughs> you okay. can take two if you okay. want. Okay, thank was, you. Do you have kids? This is my, oh, this, okay. this is my, no, sorry, this one. Sorry? This one, yeah, this me. Do you have kids? Uh, not yet. No, okay. I need, because I look like I'm pregnant, but I don't. Yeah, it's kids. not a pregnant, yeah. but you can oh, use it. Oh, sorry, tape. yeah, cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And if you Thank want you. me to film with you in Beijing, you just send me an email. I will wow. come to Beijing. You can go okay. to Beijing. Okay. I want to go. I, I Long time ago. You, okay. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. 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 Hey. Hi. Do you want me to do video? Can I do a quick interview with you? You? You want? For what? I put on YouTube. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. In what way? Uh, you can explain the technology, right? Uh -huh. okay. This is my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. There. Yeah. All right. Okay. I give you a microphone. One second. Right here. Oh, I need to actually give you the other one. Yeah. How many viewers do you have? Uh, 100 million. Oh, yeah. Views. Yeah. 100 okay. million views. Okay. But 100,000 subscribers. Oh, okay. Let's try. <laughs> okay, one second. Okay, one second. Okay. Okay, uh, hello. How long is this? Like one minute? Uh, up to you. Oh, okay, oh. let me start like this. Okay, okay one second. Okay, you can, uh, you can hold it like before, like this. Okay. Okay, okay. there. Oh, I was filming. Hi. Hello. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Grant, Grant Yang, uh, with uh, Flex Touch. And what are you showing here? Oh, well, actually, this is just a souvenir bag uh, with our logo on it. It's called Flex Touch. Uh, but uh, we are a, uh, 
uh, MetaMesh-based uh, touch sensor vector uh, for uh, oh, display. Sorry, mm. the, the, no, the, the box I gave you before. It's in the pocket. Uh, right need, here. Because the signal not so good. Okay. <laughs> Let's put it on your badge right here. Mm then it will be better. Okay. Sorry, let me start again. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's moving up long. Okay. Like this. Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Uh, please introduce yourself. Uh, hi. My name is Grant, Grant Yang, and uh, I'm with uh, FlexTouch. We're a designer and manufacturer of uh, flexible touch sensors for this place. Where are you based? Uh, we're based in uh, uh, California, in the Silicon Valley, and we have a factory in China. All right. And um, what do you show here? Uh, so here uh, is uh, our product, which is uh, on a very thin film, PET, 36 micron. You print the uh, sensor, uh, which is a copper-based, um, on both sides. And you cannot see it because it's so small, so thin. Uh, the uh, width, line width is only uh, two to three micron. And this is the thinnest uh, in the market. Uh, it basically provides a better performance. And uh, this one actually shows uh, our sensor um, uh, actually installed in this uh, uh, laptop. And you can see that uh, we can uh, use different uh, pen uh, to draw patterns and whatever. And most importantly, we're demonstrating a feature where it allows uh, a pencil to actually work with this. And All right. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, people maybe mm -hmm. don't consider that mm -hmm. uh, to get touch, you need to have a layer in front, right. and it's better to have very transparent, Correct. very high performance. Correct. Uh, you have the best? Yeah. So our transmittance is uh, 80, 89 to 90%. It's basically because the line width is really thin, like I said, two to three micron on the uh, PET uh, substrate. And mm -hmm. uh, what is the design of the mesh? Is it just uh, a specific pattern or is it just random? Well, it's you, actually, yeah, it's, it, it's, it has uh, different patterns. We actually have a patented pattern as well, where it's uh, work with the uh, IC controller. Uh, and then um, we actually have the pattern on, on the on this, and we can have the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but um, there's a microscope, and uh, if you can kind of look through it, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it should be able to see the uh, the pattern. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Trying to catch it. Mm -hmm. Let me see if uh, you with focus naked focus. eye. Yeah, let me okay. check the focus first. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's not focused. Yeah, now it's focused. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let's try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you should be able to see it now. With oh, I see. You see it? Yeah. Miracle. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Nice. So it's uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, three. squares. It's a, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of a diamond, diamond shaped, shaped. Uh, uh, pattern, yep. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. It must be cool to be working on such small stuff. Of course, uh, it's, uh, you know, touch sensor provides a interaction, interactive uh, function to a display. And the world is getting that's more connected cool. and basically this uh, uh, provides uh, uh, the uh, functionality, allow people to interact with the display. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so, are you a very famous big company on millions of devices, or? Not really. Uh, we're a startup. Actually, we're uh, in uh, B uh, round funding, but uh, we already have our product uh, uh, MP uh, with uh, Lenovo uh, on the uh, Yoga series, and uh, this is the the product. Uh, large yoga. Yep, yeah, uh, it's a 16 inch, yeah. and uh, it's actually uh, installed with our our product, and uh, shipping in the market right now. Nice. Right. So, uh, they came to you because you have very good performance? Performance, reliability, and everything. And How like about the cost? Uh, cost is actually the best cost uh, compared with uh, the uh, you know, peers or competitors. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So, metal mesh, mm -hmm. that's the future? Yeah, metal mesh is What is the, the most common right now? Uh, well, traditionally you have ITO. 
uh, which uh, actually is uh, you know adopted by most uh, display applications. But and how about silver nanowire? Did it take uh, silver big nanowire is uh, part of the solution? Yeah, but uh, metal mesh is uh, the one that uh, actually adopted by uh, you know companies like Novo, Lenovo, Consumer Electronics because it provides the best function uh, for for touch, yeah, especially right. in the mid range from ten to thirty from 10 to 30 uh, inches. So where in China is your factory? It's uh, in a city called Jiaxing. It's near Shanghai. It's one hour from Shanghai. Cool. Thank you. Okay, All right. thanks. All right. Uh, do you have my card? Uh, I don't. You. Yeah, okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Can I have your, your contact? Uh, sure. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. And you have my card, right? Yeah, 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 you have it. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Don't See you later. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, it was live streaming. Okay. Oh, okay. It was live, but okay. I will publish it in 4K tonight or tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. See you. Bye-bye. Hey. Hey, can I make video with you? Make a video? Oh, yeah. Okay. Who will speak? Um, I'm sorry, maybe we, we cannot. Uh, uh, let me give you my card. Uh, one second. So, uh, I'm a, like a YouTuber. I have. Uh, let me show you. Wait. Uh, sorry, our boss is not here, so I'm not sure we are allowed to, you know, speak on behalf of the company. But um, if you want, I I film and you can check it later. And if you approve, I will publish. And I don't live stream it. If you want, you know, and I could just yeah. record and then you say, OK, I publish. And I just need you to say hello. Welcome to King Yu. And uh, here's our e-paper solution and to show it a little bit. Is it e-ink? Oh, yeah, we, 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 we they are e-paper, but we work with e-ink. But uh, so we are a display manufacturer. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, but we are okay. not allowed to make this video. Okay. Cool. To, uh, Where are you based? In Su Suzhou. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. China. So stay in contact. If you want, uh, I go to Suzhou in the future. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just send me an email. Can I have your contact? Uh, yeah. yeah sure. Where will you go? To um, uh, Suzhou. Uh. I'm going to Taiwan in two days and then Shenzhen. Oh, we'll see. So what, in the future. Well, why are you shooting the video? I mean, you are. I like to film the coolest technology, you know? So I just want to go and film around. Uh, like a, uh, up, uploader? <laughs> what do you say? So you are technology uploader? Yeah, YouTuber. YouTube. I have uh, for my Display Week videos, 4 million views on my YouTube channel. So I can follow you here on your YouTube? Yeah, my WeChat. Oh, you have Charbax WeChat. on WeChat. Charbax. Okay. This is my WeChat, uh, this name. Yeah. So this is your YouTube, my YouTube channel. channel. Okay. And actually it's streaming right now. Right. But okay. Um, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Okay, the show is soon to finish, and I'm trying to catch one or two more. Hey. Can we do a quick video? Is still everything there? Yeah, but you didn't uh, pack it already. We just do video there, and uh, then you, I can put it on my YouTube. Hello. Oh, Hi. Okay. Can I do video with you? With you, you? Yeah. 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 Cool. Just before you pack. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Okay. 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 Just in time. You will do or he will do? You? Will do. Yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Can yeah. I give you this? Can you put it on your badge? Yeah, yeah. like this. And okay. you have this in the middle. Wow. Should I do it for you? Just, uh, oh, sorry. so sorry. Oh, like yeah. this way, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like this? Yeah. And your phone, you want to put it in a pocket? Yeah. Yeah, I put okay. it there. Cool. Here. Should we start? Uh,
Start like this, like yeah. here. What's the sound? Okay, it's part of the demo? Okay. okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, we have the cell robotic company. We have our factory in Shenzhen in China. We have the manufacturer. And then we can do ODM. So it depends on the customer requirements. What am I looking at here? And this is a double-sized uh, screen. And then we especially for the shopping mall. And also this is also a double-sized panel, especially for the supermarket. So double-sided means two panels, no? Yeah, two panels. So it doesn't matter you walk from this side or from that side, you can see the same. The same stuff. The same Cool. Are you already in mass production for this? Yes. Selling millions? Yeah, we sell a lot. We sell a lot. We All sell, right. we export to Japan and also Europe. What is the most popular you have here? Uh, especially this one, we can display all kinds of products. Not only shoes, you, whatever you want to display. This is very nice products to, to display, to introduce nice. your products. Also and then the this one is for the supermarket, for your price for advertise and special like a promotion you can see and we have all the certificates certificate yeah you are ready to sell all over the world yeah mm -hmm. what is the sound this is we especially for uh, japan market this one this is for the demo all right and this cool. can uh, mount in the wall and uh, this is your factory yeah. Uh, you are in Shenzhen. Yeah, we are in Shenzhen. We have the ODM, the manufacturer. And how was the uh, display week for you? <coughs> oh, pretty nice. We got some professional customer. And it's a it's a first big show after the Corona, right? Yeah. Do you go on many other trade shows? Yeah, we go the other trade shows like CS show in Las Vegas. All right, cool. But this one the first time. Do uh, you have shows also in Shenzhen or in yeah, Hong Kong? Yeah, we are in Shenzhen, uh, Hong Kong next year. Mm -hmm. Are you an old company? We have 20 years experience. Oh, there it's no, it says uh, we have 11 a, years. Oh, sorry, 11 ah, 20 years. Engineers. But, but, uh, 20 engineers. No, we have 20 years experience, but uh, the company is 11 years. But, but before that, we also do uh, this kind of products too. The boys have 20 years experience. Cool. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Did I give you my card already? Yeah. yeah. Give me one, please. Yeah. I want to sorry, follow I just need your to channel. Find my phone. Oh. oh, what's your uh, channel? Sorry. I want to follow your I, channel. Yeah. Uh, I need to find my YouTube, my my card. <laughs> okay. I finished here. Oh, is this my card? No. Okay, it's in my bag. Sorry. I give you my card. Uh, so, in two days, I will go to. Taiwan Ooh. for Computex wow. and then after I want to go to Shenzhen wow. because I was in Shenzhen three four weeks ago okay, and I did some videos with some factories there when I'm like Shenzhen, Shenzhen youtuber sometimes okay so maybe we can contact us. about yeah, this the yeah. we will back to Shenzhen 2nd June 2nd June ah yeah. cool that me too maybe Computex finish on 2nd June so maybe I will go okay right. yes, yes. You cool. can, uh, and you live in here? here yeah I live here I'm in Los California. Angeles? Yeah, uh, Los Angeles, yeah. Right Pasadena. here. Oh, wow. So this is my YouTube. Ah, Thank you. Okay, I'm right. going. You have a new follower. What do you say? You have a follower? Ah, cool. Thank said, you so much. I said, One you subscriber. Have new follower. It's yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, it's just because I'm, I have my headphones on. Hard time to listen. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks for you. not packing yet. Great. Right. Cool. Thank you. I'll just grab this. You need more water? I think you have water. Oh, no, I have. Okay. I have enough shui. I can say three words. Okay. I can say uh, uh, ni hao tim pudong. Ni hao tim pudong. <laughs> and then, and then shui. shui, shui. Yeah, and mewen ti. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, not more. Okay. That's good enough to okay. survive. But shui is most important. If yeah. no shui, you die. Yeah, right. So I need shui every day. So you guys say you can survive in China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least three weeks. Until I know the word for food also. What is the word for food? Food? But soup. food is for, for, for like a general food is yeah. soup, but you need to specific for something like meat is raw, you know. You fan, raw soup? Mi fan is 
Mi fan. Ah, mi fan. I know this one. This is the rice. Uh, so I just say mi fan and I'm okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you gave me your card, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Oh, I'm so sorry. 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 Oh, there it is. Sony. All right, the semiconductor. Right, I need to look where I'm going. Hi, is it Riesling? Yeah, do you want to taste? No, so I don't like, uh, my video go out of focus <laughs> if I drink. But it's really good Riesling. Ah, this sounds great. I wish my wife was here. She would be happy. So sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I was happy to do the video here. It was cool. Uh, no, I have to grab a video. I, last video. <laughs> Thank you. I did a cool video here. It was cool. Okay, see you later. Dao. Hi. Is there a chance to do a video? Interview? Uh, video interview? Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. All right, just in time. That's perfect. Okay, let me just do this one. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I just need to turn this on. Oh, what's wrong? Is it out of power maybe? Okay, I just need to so I'm swap it. Does it have my other mic? Where do I put it? I don't know. Okay, there. Can you put it right here in the badge? Yeah. Because the signal is not the strongest. And then, oh, it's right. Just it's right here, yeah. Yeah, I got you. There you go. <coughs> All right. What? Yeah, they're busy okay. moving all kinds of stuff around here. Okay. Are you gonna ask cool. questions or what are we? How should we take the coolest intro for your booth? Which well, side? Well, we have the. Start? Oh, this is company. Um, okay. Let's do it like this. this out of the way. Okay. Maybe you can. You can from here, yeah, and and then we just walk in. Hi. Hi. So I'm with uh, Chorus, and we're here. Uh, sharing some of our human light uh, interaction based uh, technologies. Uh, our, the focus of our booth here is about circadian rhythms. So we are showing uh, illumination, so like lighting, light bulbs and that sort of thing, and displays that are designed to support uh, daytime use and nighttime use. So this is a demo that shows how we can change the color objects. So if you zoom in on this little bit of the tail here, you'll see that the color of the tail uh, you know, the, it becomes almost like one color. And then if we give it a few more seconds, you will see that the color of the, the bricks becomes much more uh, different. How does that happen? So we're, we're altering the composition of the spectrum of the white light in a way that you can't see. So if you look at the light, it just looks like white light. There's nothing uh, to see, it's just white. But we're changing it in a way that allows us to manipulate the color of the Lego bricks on this uh, model. So you don't actually change the Lego bricks? The Lego bricks are unchanged. That is just a off-the-shelf Lego model that you can go and buy from a, a, a Lego shop, I guess. And you didn't magically replace them in front of my eyes? No, no it's tricks. Just it's just light. by manipulating the properties of the light uh, in a way that's hidden to your eyes. Um, this is to sort of prove to you that I can do this. Uh, and I'm doing this not to change the color of Lego models, but I'm doing it to produce light that will help your body uh, to just get good rest at night by eliminating the light that uh, tells your body it's daytime. So for example, this light here, hold on, this light that just looks like white light is actually blue free. So even though it looks like ordinary light, it is light that is suitable for nighttime use and that will not upset your circadian rhythm. If you want to try over here, we have this uh, demo. So we have some diffraction lenses. Now let's see if we can do this with the camera. Yeah. So if we look through here, so we're trying to see, kind of point off to the side over here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's the, that's the spectrum of the light coming out of this bulb. And you will see, hang on, uh, 
yeah, right kind of where my finger is, the light is missing. So that is the blue light that would tell you it's daytime. So if we look up at one of these, these fixtures on the ceiling, let's see if we can do this. Uh, so you'll see, I don't know if you can see that, but the, the blue, you can see now the blue clearly in the spectrum. So we have removed that uh, from our product for nighttime. And in these ordinary light bulbs up on the top, you can still see it. So we have also done that, um, you know, this is display week. So why would we have light bulbs? Well, we've done it with displays. So this is our uh, display where we have removed the blue light for nighttime and we've added in extra blue light for daytime, but we've done so in a way that's invisible. So up here, this display is changing. So hold on, this is kind of a new, so now it's on daytime mode. So this display has extra blue light. So it's telling you it's daytime. So sort of imagine the blue of impact of these displays kind of working together is what we see up here. Now we're going to a neutral mode. And in a few seconds, it's gonna to change to red and very, very dim. And we're doing the circadian equivalent up here, but we're doing it in a way that you just can't see with the eye. So if you see that you've got this red and dim, that's what we're doing up here. And there's really no change to the experience um, that you have here. So you can use your display to, to work or game or whatever, and uh, it will change throughout the day and deliver light that is appropriate to you and support your circadian system. Is it a backlight? Uh, I mean, there are many ways to, to implement this, and we've developed technology solutions that apply to uh, sort of LCD type displays, um, emissive displays, projection displays, e ink, uh, laser displays, like basically every type and, of display. And my uh, Huawei or somebody's Samsung or something, when they have a night kind of like eye. Protect when they do that, yeah. So is it's it similar to what you're doing. Or uh, no, doing well, what we're doing is is very, very different in how we're doing it. What they're doing is in the same direction, but we're achieving a much greater effect. And uh, you see, so this is sort of what your display looks like normally. And then when you go to night shift, I think we're, I think we're about to go to daytime instead. Okay, so if we wait a few more seconds, you'll see it go very, very red. Uh, that's sort of the amount of impact we're achieving. But uh, if you look at night mode, it's not nearly so red as that. It's more of an orange tint. So if we, if we wait just a second here, it's gonna go red again. Okay, so, so this is much redder than your night shift on your phone, I, I, I think. Uh, but we're achieving that effect without changing the color at all. So you're getting all of those benefits without having to kind of lose but that. Where's your technology in this? It looks like... This is our technology, this one up here. These are, these are ordinary displays where I'm changing the... So how, do you, how is your technology in there? Is it by... Being it's, the backlight it's, it's a the combination LCD? of hardware. Yeah, we, it's built into the whole system. It's a hardware implementation combined with software uh, to make it work. And we have, we've, this is an LCD display, um, but we've developed the technology to, so, to. So, so you do a lot of engineering on LED. Yeah, yeah. And our our, our expertise is in uh, controlling the composition of wavelengths to achieve uh, certain outcomes. Do they have to be calibrated very carefully at some? kind of place before you ship or to make the colors uh, I mean to have all mass production and we don't have mass production um, in displays yet uh, we do um, mass production of, of, of lights so far and uh, millions shipping gosh I don't I don't know I'm not sure how many uh, but it's it's you know it's a it's a it's a product that's out there in the market and you know right. these are installed all over the place and what are we seeing over there what are we seeing here? So this is uh, another form factor. Um, this is for spaces that don't have enough access to natural light. So, you know, if you have a room that is um, uh, maybe in an apartment where you don't have too many windows, um, this can be uh, installed. You know, this is something that can either be installed as a sort of a temporary thing where you attach it to the wall or it can be installed in the wall and it will deliver uh, circadian appropriate light. So we have this kind of sky gradient for daytime and it's at some point it will transition to more like uh, a sunset kind of a thing so it will look they will be appropriate for nighttime use i need this in my airbnb that's yeah quite no that's kind of, yeah, quite no dark windows. is it yeah, yeah. this is cool. um a, a device that we uh produced with one of our research partners so we chorus is engaged with uh universities across north america to do research in in human skating rhythms and uh we're using our technology to help uh, scientists uh, do experiments that allow them to answer questions that they just haven't been able to tackle before. So 
that's what this is all about. Um, over here, we we just turned it off, um, but we did have a zero blue gaming display. So the idea was that um, you would be able to, uh, you know, nice. game game game, game for like, game 40 into. hours without sleeping, and well, then still be okay. And then, well, you probably need to sleep. But yeah, the <laughs> the idea is you can play it up until you want to go to sleep, and it won't suppress your melatonin, so it keeps your natural rhythms intact rather than uh, upsetting nice. the skipping loop. So it's been a good display week. Oh, it's been great. Yeah, no, it's been it's been a lot of interest uh, from a lot of different parties. So it's been it's been really good. It's been really good. All right, you're welcome. Where right. where is it going to be? Uh, right here. So oh, let me give you my card. Sorry, I mixed up my cards. Yeah, I, my pockets have got so many other people's yeah. cards in them. So. Yeah, I'm giving other people's cards to people. Uh, so that's me, and it's it was live streaming. Oh, it was? Cool. It was live, but I will publish it in 4K late, uh, tonight or tomorrow. Okay, well, this is yeah. me. Cool. Um, Thanks a lot. Cool. All right. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. Hey. You wanted to be in a video? Um, hi, are you a self vlogger? Uh, yeah, YouTuber. Uh, so, do you have any contract for me, like for the portrait? Using. What do you say, sir? Oh, sorry, I need to take off my headphones. Yeah. yeah the contract for like project using. No, I'm not Mr. Beast actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use Wise. Wise is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your Wise card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. Don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth 8K future with 48 gigabit per second support. And there's the whole um, infrastructure for, for certifying, for testing. All right. Hey, you already packed up? Yeah, or we are currently in the packer. I was just it's too late to do video with you, right? Uh, I think so. I'm so sorry, yeah. Sorry no I didn't problem. come earlier. No yeah, I was running around like crazy too. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Thanks. a lot. Thanks. All right. So hopefully it's still streaming. So I did how much today? Four hours and a half. I could have done maybe an hour more if I had started a little bit before they opened. For that, I need to get the early access, which is for the for another time. All right. So that was so awesome. That was so much fun. Oh, am I doing noise on my microphone? Actually, 
actually I need to it's better like this right no yeah all right this is how it looks when the conference is closing and I'm checking out the other eye zone just in case somebody is late to pack up so I can maybe catch one more oh my God, I'm late. Awesome. somebody that's not eager to go if that exists no everybody packed Looks like everything's packed up, so the last chance is to interview some people about their experiences, their thoughts. Hi. Is it possible to do a quick video or is it too late? It's you have packed something that, that you needed to show or is it just that one? Yeah, well. We'd have to put the machine back together. Ah, it's yeah. too bad. Too, yes. Yeah, too, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I, th I was yeah. hoping, just in case. Let me give you my card. I was just a YouTuber doing some videos here. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. Yeah. See you. Bye, bye. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Too late, mate. Damn. Sorry? <laughs> Where's your oil, your stuff? It's in the bag. It's in the oh, bag. I'm so sorry. It's half past two. Oh, uh, good to see I'm you. Sorry. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah. Cool. Nice to see you. It was oh, such an awesome show. It was great, wasn't it? Yeah. I was running, uh, I, I, I did 18 hours of live streams. Wow. <laughs> For making sure there's no interference with the with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have. So thanks a lot for watching. Check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid visa debit card right so you need to put a little bit money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account and there's zero fees the fees are so tiny it's like five to ten times cheaper than your bank don't use paypal anymore don't use western union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world just use wise it's way faster and it's five to ten times cheaper so really check it out it's cool and i appreciate if you use my link below thanks for watching Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box, ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150, it's crazy. And it's really amazing and it's free. You can sign up, use your Android Pay, your Apple Pay, or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world. It's great to pay for stuff, right? Or send some money, tiny little fees, it's smart. Check it out. Can I send you some money? 
I would use wise if I had to send you some money. I will not send you some money. I'm pretty sure I will not do that. But if I did, I would use wise. It's really amazing. You can send money all over the world, 150 countries. You can send money to India. You can send money to the US. You can send money to Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, everywhere. And then you get a local bank account. It's crazy. You get a bank account in the US and Europe. It's really amazing. And the fees are five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. So use it as a prepaid debit card. Buy a bunch of stuff on the internet. Save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies. Check my video where I explain a bunch of more stuff, why this is a smart way, and use my link so I can make some money. <laughs> Hello, I'm... And these blue LEDs uh, are color converted to uh, green and red uh, on these two boards. Uh, so yeah, we demonstrate the concept of, of color conversion. And uh, here below we have two films, uh, a red one and a green one in micro LED conditions. So um, the layer thickness is below uh, 10 micron and optical densities are higher than one with a good efficiency of uh, 35%. So, do you say custom quantum dot? Yes, it, correct. So what does that mean? So we help our customers to apply quantum dots in their application. So we help them uh, by customizing our material to the processes that they are, uh, that they are using. And uh, on the wall it says smartwatch, TV, laptop, yes. smartphone, AR, VR. Yes, correct. Or just VR. And then automotive. <laughs> yes, correct. Um, so we do, uh, uh, we do feel that micro LEDs can be applied in all these kind of things, especially in combination with uh, quantum knots. So you combine with the micro LEDs? Uh, we only pr produce the quantum knot material, not the LEDs. So our customers are basically the LED manufacturers. So which is uh, your partner on this demo? Uh, this you we say did ourselves. <laughs> you made it yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, just drop casted, so it's not, uh, it's not very. Um, are you already difficult. a huge, very famous company? Um, we are trying to be, but we're not not yet the huge, very famous company. We are a startup company of 20 people right now. And when did you start this company? Uh, we started three and a half years ago, just before the pandemic. So how was the show? Uh, the show was incredible. We met a lot of people, um, very, uh, very good contacts uh, within the industry now. And uh, we really see that everybody is dying for uh, stable quantum knots in their micro LED application. And this is specifically something that we are focusing on. And where are you based? We are based in Ghent in Belgium. And how pure or stable can you so, reach? And in, in, is there like chemistry in that or? Yeah, there is a lot of chemistry in that. It's actually our patent technology. Um, so uh, the stability of the quantum knots is very important because of course you want your device to last for a very long time. Um, we define mostly uh, stability in, uh, uh, according to the light flux and then we say it, uh, it's stable for uh, like hundreds of hours at a certain light flux. And at this point we can uh, reach a half a watt per square centimeter for the greens and uh, one watt per square centimeter for the reds and this for hundreds of hours. Yeah. It's like an earthquake that's starting. <laughs> okay, cool. So, can I have your contact? Yes, you can. Uh, mine is here. All right. Cool. I'll here send you, you the video after. Did you get my card before? Yes, I yeah. did. I did. Okay. Thanks so much. Cool. So, actually, it was live streaming, but I will publish it in 4K later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's funny okay. that you live okay. streamed. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. See you. Bye-bye. Uh, if you want, you can send email what I should write in the description. Okay. Like if you want something very technical, I'll yeah. put it on YouTube. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. That was cool. Let's grab here for the photo. Hey. 
Right. Okay. All right. So it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Sorry about these guys. It didn't happen. But I did try. All right. Cool. Carpet. So this is hey. Last corner to have a seat. All right. So I'll be sitting down for a second and then oh is there free sandwiches nice Look at that. This dinner. Cool. Maybe. Okay. So. Thanks a lot. This is my Yellow Box Pro. This is how I've been live streaming 17 hours from the Display Week 2023. Well, I recorded over 60 interviews, I think, and maybe half of them are uploaded. No, the third of them are uploaded already. I'll try to get the second third uploaded today and they'll all be published by ChatGPT, my ChatGPT publisher, which is my assistant taking care of uh, writing all the descriptions and everything and then they get published and shared around through my spam bot spam bots uh, if you want to be my spam bot spam bot sorry i need to <laughs> it's hard to speak when i hear myself all right that was a lot of fun uh thanks for watching and thanks for all the the comments thanks for watching the whole video uh, that was cool. You can watch all the 17 hours right now, or you can just wait. Just wait a little bit. I'll publish in 4K. It's going to be much better. All the videos you can watch on your 4K TV, on your 8K TV. You can upscale it. Uh, you can watch it on your foldable OLED. You can watch it on your micro LED micro display. Uh, you can watch it on your DLP projector, 4K. Uh, you can watch it. Uh, Where well, you can watch it? You can just think about it not watch it but just like visualize it with your brain computer interface machine um, and I'm also available uh, with a blue check mark on the Twitter uh, thanks to my friend the Elon Musk uh, right that's cool so thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video quite soon I'll be all the videos are gonna get published right now and so I'm a couple days in Los Angeles. If anybody watches this somehow and knows something that's awesome in Los Angeles, like a movie where they, they need a, a main actor or some kind of thing that I could be doing in this area, um, maybe there's a cool tech company here. Which one would that be? 
give me some ideas. Maybe I can try to see if I can film with them. Otherwise, I'll, I'll just go to, uh, to the skid row and do uh, some interviews. All right, so thanks a lot for watching. And this was Display Week, my first trip to the US of A uh, since 2019. And the whole world is back to normal. I, watched, I saw only three masks and they were all at the same booth. Uh, so everything's back to normal and the US is open for business. And it was a lot of fun to do these videos with uh, a lot of uh, genius people here. It was so cool. So thanks a lot for watching. And it's been fun and interesting traveling around live. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, had a great time. And it's fine you don't watch it live, you know, it's just, uh, it's just there for, you know, just to, for the future. I want people to watch this in 300 years and say, oh, this guy, totally. Yeah, nice, flexible. All right, thanks for watching. Cool.